Good day, folks, and welcome to some more uh, Stardew Valley. As we try to continue pushing on towards perfection, we actually have 99% perfection, so all that remains is to actually just wait until we get the last few cooking recipes. However, we have extra goals, so where's the fun in just waiting? Nope. So hopefully we're going to see if we can get some of these extra things done. Okay, human... Uh, they're in a little bit of extra luck. I think it's raining out. Okay, so it's going to be nice and sunny. What we need to do, if I recall... Ooh, purple mushroom. Do some shrooms. Here you go, Lewis. Have some fun with it. It's Thursday. We need another prismatic shard. So this is... going to be interesting. <laughs> We're going to try and rush to Skull Cavern and see if we can actually get one in time. I'll probably put these up. We'll probably go and buy some bombs real quick from the Dwarf. That way we can at least ensure that we um, have enough explosives to make it there. Hello, Plotim. Welcome. Oh, no. We, we probably have Oak Resin. Oh. Okay, well... Oh, no. We need to first... We need that Prismatic Shard. We def definitely need it. We're like, not as poor, but as you can see, we're still kind of poor after buying the golden clock. So we have to make sure that we are not just going to frivolously spend our money. Alright, this should be enough to be able to get down. We only need one prismatic shard. If we get one, then we can leave. And then move on and do something else. Among other things, we still have Danger in the Deep to finish. We have a few days on that. I think we're only at level 50? Yeah, it is 50. So, oh my goodness, so much Oak Risen. Hey, welcome, Froglin. We still need to fish up a Scorpion Carp. I did try to do a little bit of research. See about that. The idea being that since that pond is so small, it looks like it's fishing zone 2. So I was trying to find out how can I get a uh, gold catch from fishing level 2 spot. And it looks like if I um, boost my fishing skill even more, like with say Seafoam Puddin, I might be able to have a small chance get a gold uh, catch naturally, which the um, delightful, very delightful little uh, quality bobber should help me. Oh, man, we got a little bit of extra luck. <laughs> it's more luck. Hey, spread out the shafts, man. You don't need to have that many uh, shafts in one spot. There's always one at the end of these. Whether or not it's actually... It's probably not even worth it to go down this way. So we lose a lot more time. Ah, uh, poor Dino. You've got to ignore it. Just don't have time. There we are. Beautiful. Alright, so... Our biggest thing is we're going to be trying to get all those extras done today, so that way we can just focus on decorating. The clothes thing I found out is there are more clothes than I thought there were. Oh, I see that freebie over there. So, I don't know how many clothes I'm going to actually manage to get for my, my farm. But we're going to try. Definitely gonna try. Hey, welcome, Clay. I'm doing good. How about yourself? It's the middle of the week, so <laughs> there's kind of that excitement knowing that the weekend is getting closer and closer. Hey, freebie shaft. Now that's even lovelier. Okay, so we're at floor 28. Yeah, I had a feeling that we were gonna get that ladder. 
Jesus. For some reason, I thought that was going to be a crab. <laughs> so yeah, our big goal is... The next time that we get all of our um, money from the next cycle of wine, we ought, uh, should be able to get virtually everything, like for, for the uh, Pam's house and so many of the other upgrades. What is this? Oh, Iridium Sprinkler! Is it multiples? No, we get one. <laughs> Mr. Key's like, you'll get one and you'll be happy with it, kid. Uh, probably eat another salad. So the lower we get, the better chance of Iridium nodes. We only need one node to make this work. Oh, hey, welcome, Red! Like, it's gonna be really funny if we get one really fast. I don't think I'll get that lucky. I rarely do. I think we need about 20-something additional prismatic shards if we want to max out in terms of being able to get rock candy for every uh, day. Uh, well, every week, that is, not day. No, this one's not looking good. We're just gonna skip that. I wonder if that one... Oh, it was this one. Oh, oh, my... I see, my coffee ran out. I better fix that. Uh, let me see. It's those moments to where you realize that, hey, I forgot this. Yeah, things have been going well. I was just a little pressed for time uh, before starting tonight. Went for a, a bit of a walk, so... That was nice, just being able to step outside, clear your head, and all that stuff. I usually try to take them on my breaks during work, but during the summer, it can be a little bit rougher. It's just a lot warmer. Like, give me prismatic shards, or give me death. Of course, I think the serpents are happy to oblige. Okay, anything? No. But yeah, we should be able to, I think it's only about... 1.2 million to be able to buy almost all the extras. And we get that from cycling through our wine. That's a... Crab. I knew it. You can't. <laughs> oh no! Quick salad, save me! I shouldn't have put myself in that bad of a position. I did find out that I need 700 Omni Geodes if I want to buy all the hats. All of them. Want to have all the pretty turbans. And then we can go from there. Okay, so 1 p.m. Oh, we've got a freebie shaft. Sorry, packet of coal. Oh. No, no, no. I guess the good thing is we have so much cloth already that. We won't need to worry about that for being able to make various things, clothing-wise. These mummies just keep providing. They like the gift that keeps giving. Keep expecting ladders. Of oh, the hat percent? I think there actually is a speedrun category for that. The only thing is, you know... I'm not really much of a speedrunner. Oh, I'm on prismatic shards. Oh, I'm out of these. Well, that's good, that'll get me some healing as well. Oh. I need to ditch some stuff. Oh, why do I still have the sap? Ooh. 
You disappoint me, Iridium Node. I had such high hopes for you. I just run. Run for the hills. Oh yeah, one of them's a crab. You can see it. I get the feeling that what's going to happen is there's going to be like an enemy that drops the Iridium, uh, the Prismatic Shard. Wait, why can't I pick up that coal? There we go. <laughs> I was beginning to wonder. Ah, oh, jeez. This one's not good. Get You can't skip all of your problems, but I can try. Ooh, Iridium. Got a good feeling about this one. Oh, it's just a crab. They fangled. Need to have better feelings about these. Uh, yeah, that basically is the play at Clay. Although, at this point, we're also trying to do some extra goals to see what we can accomplish. Just for fun, more so, than any kind of actual need. Now we're gonna toss the slime. We got, like, five million slime. Hey, hey, rude. Just because I'm paying more attention to my inventory... ...doesn't mean that you can ambush me. It's not polite, man. I get the feel that we're just going to not get lucky with one. Oh. Let me sip my triple shot espresso while I get my face bitten off by an iridium bat. I'm not just eating the salad. I'm using it to fix my broken face. Gnawed off by the iridium bat. <laughs> that, although that'd be pretty silly. A face with like salad all over it. And then just be like, how do I look? I know, the hats are very annoying. The only thing is, I'm not going to go for like every single thing because some of them require hard events. Like, say, Emily's stuff. Hard events. I just don't have the time or patience. Besides, I'd have to evict Krobus. We are not evicting Krobus. Dag nabbit. We can never evict Krobus. Jeez. What can I also throw away? Get rid of this. This. Oh my goodness. Prismatic shards, where are you? I know. I <laughs> if you eat enough salad, it can fix all your problems. It even revive the dead. If it's a good enough salad. You can't do that with just a simple seeds or salad. You just gotta have like the right dressing and everything. Hey. Just trying to I'm trying to be sneaky. Okay, well then. Yeah, the worst part is I have to do this every week. I can go one week without it. Because I'll still hit 15. I did the math. However... Still not gonna look good if I uh, just be like, oh, I'm gonna forget about it. Oh, there it is! My precious prismatic shard! I guess I'm already like in too deep, so I have to be like, alright, now that I've gotten here, I'm just gonna try and get more prismatic shards. After all, I have until the night 
and then falls. I mean, we are trying to basically go off of a 4% chance of it dropping from an Iridium node. It's still like the best thing we can get at the moment. It's probably a crab. My suspicions? I'm too suspicious of these Iridium nodes. Now we get the nice iridium stuff. Now you might say that it's wrong to blow yourself up, but I mean, it's just an alternative strategy. There we go. I mean, we actually have a ridiculous amount of iridium ore at this point, <laughs> where we really, really don't need more iridium. Although it is kind of nice to get more. As long as we leave by like 11, we can still go to the desert trader and use the magic rock can't get the magic rock candy. Apologies. Sudden urge to sneeze and couldn't mute in time. Normally I'm quicker on the uh, draw so to speak. Hey, welcome, Apollo. Hopefully your day is going well. Okay. Let all get our bomber man on. But yeah, we could also smash Omni Geodes, but I think it's going to be like 700 for all the turbines. Well, thank you. Sorry about that. I feel bad if I uh, don't get that, if I don't mute in time. Because no one wants to hear people sneeze. Still have that. Unless that's secretly been... It is a real thing. At 9.30pm. I know, sometimes it just... Catches you suddenly. Oh, that's another crab. And I feel bad when that happens, though. Spicy eels, save me! Spicy eels is like the best food. Probably another crab. Knew it. Anytime you see them, like, off-center, then you know can have like that knowing stare. Ooh, even more iridium. And then the crab can be like, I know that you know that I know. And you can play that sort of game. Mind games. An iridium crab. <laughs> no. Ah, oh, jeez. I mean, I love the... Oh, beautiful. I'm glad I, I went for that. That's me the four. Do I see five? No, I don't. Less. Oh, unless not. Okay. It's four 100, so we get the... Uh, Tonic. Oh yeah, beautiful. It's a lot of gold. Mm, we should leave at midnight. We'll go up, get our um. It's a bad one. There's not even iridium around here. What are they thinking? They made this mine. Of course this mine's no better. 
that's okay. We forgive the people who made this mine. A complete lack of prismatic shards and iridium. Oh, that's beautiful over there. Five million shards. Now, if you excuse me before I blow myself up. I regret nothing. Okay, time to get out of here. And now run for the hills. Well, we still got all that oak press to do. Oh no, I don't have any space. Uh, we could do this. We can figure out something to throw. Scatter to the winds and all that. Ah, life elixir, you suck. We should probably get back. We'll have to collect this the next day. And tomorrow's a Friday, so we could probably... Well, not quite. We need more. We need to actually have wine to be able to sell. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to just buy our wood from... We could, but we're not going to have enough. I think that's the bigger problem. Inventory. A precious inventory. Until next week, Prismatic Shard. We go. We got some caviar. Let me save one of those. I think we need one of them for cloth. Yes, we are at 99% perfection at this point. And we're trying for the extra goals now. Which is the uh, ever so fun part. There's so much to do, so little time. Actually, there's actually a lot of time now. I think after we do Danger in the Deep, we're going to have enough key gems for pretty much whatever we want. So we won't have to feel pressed for um, time doing key uh, quests either. We have three days to go down the 70 floors. Okay, none of that. Which we'll probably be doing... Oh yeah, see, they're very happy today, so... That's right, Krobus is silent on Fridays. He has some he has some hay. Money's all like he has some hay for you to have. Where did I put this? Oh, I don't need that. But I do need to put this stuff up. Let's check all of our sheds. Yeah, see, we're already getting like the ancient fruit cartel begins. If we have any wine, we're gonna sell it to Pierre as well, so that way we can just start buying stuff. Yeah, see, it begins. Oh, we actually need to check the tunnel because the tunnel has even more stuff. At 112% pure completion? Uh, not quite. Alas, it only goes to 100%, but we're doing extra goals just to kind of make up for that. Especially because we're much further along than I thought. I've never actually gotten this far before. In terms of actually spending enough time to make money. So now... This is kind of like, just seeing how far along we can get. And I'm also curious as to how much money we'll have at the very end of this run. Thinking like maybe, we have like 20 million? Yeah, we've got about 20 million total, total earnings. So I think maybe 40 million is possible. Especially with all the kegs that we get. So yeah, we're going to sell this to Pierre because um, we'll get ridiculous amounts of money. Oh, I should probably put my start kegging the ancient fruit. Well, it's not there to look pretty, after all. I mean, maybe I could have it sit around and look pretty. But I feel like it would probably be better served. There we go. And 
now it can look pretty as a bottle of wine. And we're gonna also need to decorate this place. Oh no, what are we scamming Pierre with his with all his stuff? Why are we scamming Pierre with all this stuff? One day I'm gonna actually go through and sell some of this stuff, but that day is not today. I think maybe the last day we might sell the stuff. There's a part of me that wants to do that, to just to see how much total money we get, but then at the same time, I'm like, I ever want to come back to this file. I'd rather have all the stuff just sitting there. Decisions, decisions. Oh, right. Oh, prison. Yeah, so we're gonna have to also... We might not actually get as much done as I would like. Oh, beautiful. Here is an honest businessman, in quotation marks. That means he's double honest. Okay, so we can fit some kegs in this tunnel. I can just imagine Pam go like, How the hell do I get around this kid? And it's like, yeah, you'll figure it out, Pam. I mean, Pam won't hit those kegs, because that's alcohol. That's the last thing that she'd be willing to hit. Alright, about half a mil. We've got money again. We've got big money. I what is this one? Just on the off chance. Oh, it's just squid kids. Oh. Resetting your skills? Oh, with, like, the perks? I think we'll need... Let's see, we're probably going to need about 1,500 wood. So we're probably going to buy 2k wood. I think that'll be about 100,000 uh, from Robin. We'll catch that oak resin. I'm not sure if we'll have enough iron and copper. That might be where we have a, a bit of a... Uh, problem. But as long as we have the wood, that we can always smelt things while we do Danger in the Deep. Oh, we said an artisan? But wouldn't that... Like, is it trying to do loopholes with having different prices from it? Active and then not active? Because that seems curious. I'd prefer not to have to use uh, interesting glitches and loopholes least where possible. I'd rather scam Pierre honestly. It's a shame that you just can't enter in the amount that you want to buy from Robin. I'm not actually sure if it's quicker to uh, shift click and do it in quantities of five or just hold down the button. Oh, you sell what you have artisan and buy back without it. Oh no, that's... It reminds me of Baldur's Gate, uh, where what you could do is... You could pickpocket things from the shop and sell it to one of the, uh, fences who would be the only people that would buy stolen goods. But you could pickpocket the item back from them and just keep selling it and pickpocketing it until, um, you had as much money as you wanted. It was... very... curious. <laughs> but a lot of fun. Yeah, then I think I understand. Okay, we might buy the furniture catalog right now as well. I guess if we go back to Pierre, we'll buy the wallpaper catalog. And then that way, whenever we get the urge to decorate, whenever we feel like our interior decorate itself, we'll be able to start getting this looking pretty. Besides, we need like a dresser so that we can start putting clothes in there. Otherwise, we're going to just... Be spamming chests. Okay. Oh, that sounds... That sounds incredible, but also at the same time very, uh, cheatery. Let's 
still. If that's how folks like to play, more power to them. Well, you see, Pierre runs a lot of, uh, legitimate businesses on the side. No, not again, cat. Don't block me. We've been over this. That's right. And then once we get a gold, uh, not a gold, giant pumpkin, then we're all set with the giant, uh, stuff. It'll be great and glorious and good. <laughs> yes. We have, uh, we have a lot of, uh, kegs. I think we're up to 800 at this point. So obviously we need to get more kegs. I mean, we still need to do Danger in the Deep. It's on our to-do list, after all. Good thing is that time is less of an issue in terms of urgency. Since there's less quests that we have to worry about. Oh, but let's just make sure animals aren't going to die. Oh god, 39? That'll happen there. Okay, we need to... We need to see if Mani's open. And if she is, we need to buy, like, a bunch of hay. I thought I had a bunch of hay. I probably do somewhere, but I just forgot where. Oh, we haven't been to the island. Who knows how much, uh, how much stuff has happened there. How many star fruit have grown up. I was about to say, you better be there, Marnie. Okay, so with 400 hay, we should have more than enough to... I think we had 400, we had 40, so... There, that should, like, completely fill it up. It has, like, one lone bit of hay, one strand of hay that it can hold. And at that point, it's just bursting. So, plan is... Let's see how we're doing in terms of everything that we can use to make more eggs. Oh, we're just short of iron. Well, then that's, that's, that's at least good. Because we can work at that. See, it's on our to-do list. Smelt iron. Hopefully we actually have more iron. We're going to buy that catalog from Pierre real fast. That way I don't forget about it. Then we'll put those kegs down. Yeah, furniture lets us get all the furniture that we want, most of it at any rate, and then we can get whatever wallpaper and floor kind of stuff we want from Pierre with the catalog. This will help all of our decorating needs. Yeah, our farm looks pretty much like a disaster. It's like, I want to hear about this famous Doom farm that produces all this wealth and everything. Why does it look so hideous? He just lets his animals run amok. So I'm just like, I'll make it look good one day, I promise. It's on my to-do list. You gotta believe me. Wait. What up that? Alright, now to the mines. We'll check the island another time. We gotta make some progress in the mines. As you can see, we have a lot of stuff to do. Oh, we didn't even place the kegs. We have a lot of stuff to do. How much iron? Oh god, not even enough iron. Ah, uh, let's see, this is gonna be interesting. Interesting. A lot of emphasis on interested. <laughs> That's probably true, I balance. I'm gonna try, though. 
gonna decorate it with good intentions. I... Oh, I think I need to sip some more triple shot espresso. And eat some more spicy eel. And get a, a darn ladder. Ah, uh, 15% chance. Working against me. What we are going to have to try and do is uh, make sure that we get, yeah, I need to get as much iron ore as I can while I'm down here. Oh god, I just forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> it's my senior moment. I'm trying to think of all the other stuff I need to do. But uh, with fish, oh, that's what it was. With fish, we can do things like get magic bait with the uh, radioactive ore that we have. It's going to be useful. As long as we can actually make use. As long as we can start using that radioactive ore, then... There was a freebie over there. That was big dumb. Let me see. Gonna pick up those Omni Geos. Get rid of that clay. Crystal fruit. No one cares about crystal fruit. Actually, you're gonna tell me that people want crystal fruit juice. Oh! Beautiful. Fiber. No. Carrot, cave carrot, take a hike. I will take that. Thank you very much. I'll also take this ladder. 59 sucks. big problem with that area is any of those ones where it loops around. Most of the time you're just going to spend a lot of time on that floor. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I can just imagine Grandpa going, yeah, Grandpa would be like, I certainly hope he's built the farm up just a little. And he's like, what have you done with my beautiful rustic farm? We got with the times, old man. Guess I have to have, like, sunglasses in this scenario. Just so that I can, like, be one of those, like, uh, really cool business people. Ghost. Stop being difficult. Oh, wait, you gotta give me a bad floor. Oh, iron bars. Multiple iron bars. Okay, let's see. Coffee bean, I do not need you. Loodles slander. Uh, loodles are the worst. Don't trust loodles. E evil incarnate. I'm just hoping that I can get enough hardwood so that I can not have to break down and buy from Robin, even though it doesn't matter at this point. It's the principle of the matter. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. Hey, hey. Can't buy from Robin? Too good of friends for her to charge me. And Robin's just like, <laughs> yeah, no.
She's just wiping tears from her eyes. So I think we're we're not that good of friends. We have to be like fourteen. You have to be like fifteen hearts before she starts giving me discounts. Make some progress. Those bone swords are actually pretty nice weapons. Especially if you get it on your first run. I can't end up using the bone sword for a very long time when I got it on my uh, first playthrough. It's because of how darn useful it is. So we don't have too much more. Oh, an artifact trove. Um, let's see. Bye, but you're gonna have to take a hike. A trove can be nice. You can get the golden pumpkin. Among other things. Oh no. Wait, what have you been doing it through it all this time? You've been fighting? Fighting about loodles? We're just trying to make this level um, 80 at this point. Okay, that's probably too late to do anything more. Why are you fighting over loodles? I don't know what to say to that. How many jades do we have? 17? Uh, that's not going to be enough. We're going to have to see what we can salvage, but I might try to just push through and get danger in the deep done. So that way we never have to look at it again. <laughs> Loodle supremacy? No, 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 no. Loodles are evil. They're the worst thing possible. No one in the right mind could like Loodles. That's the face only a mother could love. That's right, we should get a uh, dresser. A dark throne. That doesn't exactly look very comfortable, but... I mean, a dark throne does sound like that would be important. And now we can put stuff in there. Clothing. All the clothing. No, no, no. Loodles are one of those things to where someone holds it in front of you and they are like, look how cute this is! And then it just has like this hissing thing with like snot and like drool just dribbling down its face. Loodles are terrible. Don't trust Loodles. Okay, so we still have a little extra luck. Our luck hasn't run out yet. Gus wants a lobster. Gus ain't gonna get a lobster. <laughs> That's probably true, puppy. However, uh, you see, about that, we make some exceptions periodically. Loodles don't get that exception, because they're terrible, horrifying monsters that no one should ever feel sorry for. Any sympathy or remorse. At all. Hmm. 
Here's this ladder. So yeah, loodles are bad. The end. And you can't argue with that. Not as cute as loodles. No. Everyone's turning against me. To always watch out for them. They're dangerous. They're evil, I tell ya. Evil. Yeah, we're just trying to please through this. Totally willing to just. Okay. Totally willing to just use staircases at this point. But I'm trying not to. Emphasis on crying. Hey, don't shoot me in the face. You'll make me eat salad. <laughs> Oh, I'm looking for the uh, bottom, so that way I can finish the key quest for the week. It'll give me a number of key gems, and then I should be done with key gems, more or less. I might do another thing at some point just to play with other things like Junimo Chess, but I won't have that sense of urgency. There we are. Not that I really need the quest from the wizard. That, that's really all it is. We're just trying to get these last bits. We get 50 key gems if we uh, do this. Which is pretty worth it. Nice. Scrolls. I got plenty of dwarf scrolls. But yeah, we're just trying to blaze on through. And then after that, we'll start probably turn our attention towards the other stuff. Might as well get the radioactive ore. Could be more magic bait. And saves me a trip to doing like hard mode skull caverns or anything like that. Like we'll take a we'll start gonna check and see if we can get uh, any key quests. If they're easy ones, you know, like prismatic range or something, might still do them. It's just depend on how many we think we're gonna need. Oh yeah, no problem. Feel free to ask anything about what we're doing. Generally when we're in the more dangerous places, I'm not very good at paying attention to chat, but I do try to... Uh... Oh, that's a bad floor. That's the bad floor, the bad touch, everything. Oh, oh shoot. He dropped a, a staircase. I kind of didn't want to go there while well jinxed. Jinx slows our defense, making life much worse for everyone. surprised that they drop metal bars so readily. But I guess the hard mode ones have it to where you just you just get to see a lot more interesting stuff. Because I mean we've seen things like pressure nozzles drop 
a whole lot of stuff that I wouldn't have expected to drop. I think we've actually seen staircases dropped as an item. Or maybe that was multiplayer where that happened. But we did see that happen. Yeah, case. Oh, it's a mushroom floor. If I only cared about mushrooms at this point. Oh, <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't even realize that was a uh, one thing, a crab. I okay, don't need the sap. I actually don't need the fat wings. I think the only reason to pick up the crabs is so that we can make crab cakes down the road. Because I know that's one of the recipes. And crab cakes. Oh no. Got jinxed. And not the good kind of jinxes. I don't really think there are good kind. Blow this place sky high. Oh, there is a uh, thing. Good. Just give me a ladder and no one gets hit. Oh, that's what it was. These rocks were blocking. And there we are. Now we can just move on and do something else. Something exciting. Fission. Although maybe not fission. That doesn't sound entirely exciting. Too bad we have to do it. Oh, we do need to check the uh, island, though. So yeah, that gives us something to do. Something very important to do. Not to mention we have to push, push more of these kegs out. We can make some more, though, before we do that. And not to mention check our sheds, because we didn't do that either. Oh, do we? We actually had enough iron. Okay. Beautiful. Now we can just... We can slack off until the next set of iron ore, or oak resin, comes into play. It'll be a few days, maybe a week. Okay, let's see. Where are the all the Oh, there's the crabs. Beautiful. All right, to the tunnels. I think the other thing is that because of how we set up our fields, part of the problem is going to be trying to figure out how the hell we even want to set up everything. And in the winter, we're not going to be able to do as much stuff, so it's going to be kind of weird looking. Yep. That's not the right position for that. That's not the right position either. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, I know. We can do it like this. Now it'll loop around. Ah, <sighs> sorry about that. I don't know what it is. Must be more... 
I don't know, allergies or something. <laughs> now, Mayor Lewis can have all the words later. I've got a bribe. It's called a bottle of starfruit wine. I'll just give him one in exchange for his silence. I mean, Lewis seems like he's the type of person that would uh, go in for bribes. How much space I got? Okay, we can get these fruit. I mean, we might as well sell it off. I uh, yeah, primarily through the wine. The Truffle Mafia also makes a decent amount of money. But the wine is the backbone. Granted, there's a couple of other ways we could make money if we really wanted to. But wine, especially with the artisan perk, lets you make a ridiculous amount of money. That's right, the island is next. Because we need to see what our starfruit production is looking like. As we'll have pumpkins soon, but, you know, we need to make sure that we have enough starfruit to actually keep this, uh, winery going. The day we don't have starfruit wine is the day that we have to serve inferior pumpkin juice with, like, terrible additives and everything. But yeah, Truffle Mafia also makes a pretty decent amount of money, provided that it's not a rainy day and it's not winter. So that one is going to start... Use the door. Use the door handle. So that one is not going to uh, make us a lot of money soon. Once it switches over to winter. is very sad but you know truffle mafia doesn't make us anywhere near as much as the wine does but it does provide some steady income when it's not raining oh i know what i need to do besides the island that i keep saying that i'm going to do and constantly forget to do i need to fish up some midnight carp so i can make sea foam pudding okay First things first, the island, but that requires my starfruit seeds, which I need to find out where I put. They're right there. Beautiful. Oh god, I have ancient fruit right there. Why do I keep forgetting about these? I feel like I've been very foolish about this. And there's still a lot of things that we don't bother picking up because it's just a waste of time. It just depends on the thing. Like, at this point, starfruit's the biggest thing, and ancient fruit as well, as we start using that. Ancient fruit sells for less than starfruit wine. However, the thing is, we have to buy these seeds uh, for starfruit. And starfruit takes nine days with deluxe speed grow to grow, as opposed to getting an ancient fruit every seven days. So, in the long run, ancient fruit can be a lot better. Even since you don't have those seed costs every harvest. God, that's a lot of star fruit. And, um, you know, you get them faster. This is so many star fruit. I'm not even sure I'm going to have enough. I don't know if I'm going to have enough seeds. We'll have to go back to Sandy at the Oasis to buy some more tomorrow. And the good thing is we're getting more wine, so we can actually get we can paid. We can actually afford to get more starfruit seeds. We live in the lavish lifestyle of when we had millions of gold. And now we don't have millions of gold. But we get about 500 spots. Us. Uh, yeah, spots to grow crops. 
on uh, Ginger Island, and they can grow any crop uh, year-round. So starfruit that generally only grow in summer, we can still keep mass-producing them. Because that's the benefit of your greenhouse and Ginger Island, in that you can grow anything year-round. Your main farm is very much uh, limited by whatever's seasonal. And once winter rolls around, you can't grow anything except winter uh, winter seeds. It'll get you the forageable kind of stuff. They can make decent money if you do grow them. You have to grow quite a lot of them to actually turn a big profit. I think during winter, when we're wrapping this up, I don't think that I'll be too worried about money. We've already got the big we've already got the big financial humps done, so it's now just trying to uh, make sure that we can buy all the extra stuff. Like we got the decorating extras done. We need about eight hundred and fifty thousand. Actually, it might just be eight hundred thousand because I think we have the thousand wood uh, to build a house for Pam and then get the community shortcuts. And then I think that's everything. At least in terms of buying stuff. We could buy the Return Scepter for 2 million gold. I suppose if we want to further use stuff with wealth. But I think we'll do that maybe at the very end, because we don't really need... At this point, the Return Scepter is not really important, because we have 300 farm totems. Uh, from gambling at the casino. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, we don't have enough starfruit seeds. I regret everything that led me to not have enough starfruit seeds. Yeah, I don't want to leave a barren patch, because that will likely cause bad stuff to happen. There might be wine or available inside. I forgot. I've also loaded this place with kegs too. Everyone ne needs to be able to fall asleep to the sound of wine slowly brewing in your home. And that's what my Ginger Island farmhouse is. When you want to take a vacation from making wine, We've added some kegs so you can make wine while on vacation. But the big reason to make wine is that you make... Uh, it triples the value of the uh, fruit. You can also make juice, which... Doesn't, it's something like 2.25 of the value. And it takes six days to make. And then with the artisan perk to give it another 40% boost, it can be extremely profitable for any high-value stuff. That is not my shipping bin. This is my shipping bin. We're just gonna sleep on the island. Oh yeah, another half million. Might actually be able to buy the uh, house for Pam right now. And get that out of the way. <laughs> That's right, it's Sunday, so we have to make sure we go... Oh, Ken! Hello, Cranky. This item was collecting dust in the tool shed. I think you might be able to use it. P.S. Stay away from my family. He is a lit bomb. And, uh, very much like sending us explosives. Stop trying to be besties with my entire family. We also have some honey, but the honey doesn't produce anywhere near as much money in terms of, um, the investment. And that's the thing, Ginger Island is a really good place to make a lot of money through honey. Just, it takes, it's four days to produce honey. You have to have the flowers there. 
and each um, beehive costs quite a bit to make. And that's only 55,000 gold every four days. That's questions we will never know the answer to, puppy. Ever. Now, if you excuse me, I gotta go watch Queen of Sauce. Uh, cat, Queen of Sauce. Fruit salad. I've learned how to just put some fruit in a bowl and say that I'm making salad. Okay, where is the fruit salad? Oh, there it is. Dude, I don't have, like, any extra blueberries. That is unfortunate. I feel like I have to have some extra blueberries somewhere. Okay, maybe I don't. Or maybe I'm just giving up too soon. Hey, 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 cow, how did you get out of there? The fence was electrified. Oh, make me get the shotgun. Wait, how did... Oh, God, that's why. I left that open. I guess it's too little too late. They have to uh, go... They have to roam free. Well, you see, Ken uh, loves explosives. Nah, it's only Evelyn that can say, George, get the gun. And that's only if you insult her cookies. Evelyn just does not like having her cookies insulted. Yeah, pigs are very expensive, but... You actually go through the trouble of getting a lot to get truffles and everything. You can make back quite a bit of money. Okay, do we want to build a house for Pam? I guess the answer is maybe. I guess the answer is sure. Why not? There we go, we got some ancient fruit to cover us if our star fruit runs out. Okay, so what else are we doing? Among other things, we desperately need to get some more. <laughs> We're already going to get the gun. No, 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 I'm not going to get the gun. I was just wondering why my uh, cows were out in the middle of the field and... Dude, that's something I need to take care of. We'll get to that. That's on our to-do list. All right. What's that? You want to build Pam a house? That's a great idea. I never suggested that, Robin. I'll just need 950 wood and half a million gold. What kind of house are you building? I just was okay with like a shack. So generous of you. I'll start working on the upgrade tomorrow. It should take around three days. Don't worry, Pam. This house is equipped with state-of-the-art bars and booze dispensers. You'll have a good time in three days. Oh, that's right. We have to get more alcohol. Actually, curious about one thing. How much wide have I shipped? 5,554. <laughs> oh no, that is a lot of wine. I think that's the most of anything I've shipped. Unless cranberries. How many cranberries? Only 3,000. Hey, Pam looks like she'd be perfectly happy in a shack. Where to? It is Sunday. 
we need to... Okay, Danger in the Deep is done. Oh, that's right. We should probably start doing fish. Uh, let me see what kind of fish... We can try and get salmon. And then I think the last one's the upgrade, the shortcuts, and those are 300,000. Between the uh, amount of booze we've already got, uh, we easily have enough to cover everything. Oh, that's right. We need to buy more seeds, starfruit seeds, specifically. I knew there was something I was forgetting. Okay, it's on my to-do list. First things first, we're going to try and get some of this uh, fish off of our list. Salmon's on the top of it. With magic bait, we can get things like, um, things that are like a sturgeon or such during the fall. I think I have a quality barber to make up for these mistakes. Oh, small bath bass, get lost. <laughs> yeah, she's probably just like periodically check in and you know, sip any of the stuff. No, nope, no. Nope. Stop being so slippery, fish. Oh good, a tiger trap. Oh god, not about a broken trident. I've been needing a tiger trap. And there's a the salmon. Beautiful. Let me get my pen so that I can remember to cut. You know. I just like mark through them, be like. You don't have to worry about this anymore. Actually, we should get a Slime Jack while we're at it. Slime Jack, Void Salmon, uh, Wood Skip, all of those are things that we need. <laughs> she just inhales the entire keg. Why? Why would she inhale the entire keg? I mean, she's probably more along the lines of, he'll never notice some eggs missing. He's got too many of them. Okay, that's a slime jack. There we are. Slime jack is off the uh, list, too. Beautiful. But yeah, that's why we have the quality bobber, to make up for our ferocious fishing skills. Might as well get the wood skip while we're at this. Yeah, I just feel like that she just make off with entire kegs. I mean, what are we doing? Are we really taking account of our inventory every, like, day or so? Just to try and avoid Pam uh, trying to steal some kegs? Do need to get a puffer fish. Ah, uh, fish that up. Oh, she's on the dark throne. So yeah, wood skip. Um, there's ones like lingcod. That's winter. That I'll probably try and get. There's still the scorpion carp. I think if I get my fishing skill high enough, then I might be able to just be able to fish up a gold one in that small pond. And then the quality bobber will take care of the rest. So that's why I'm trying to get a midnight carp as well. Yeah, she's A tier for alcoholic. That's the tier list we're talking about, right? I think... I know that with Magic Bait you can get the Night Market Fish as well. So that is... something that we don't have to wait until the Night Market to do. Then... what we can do... 
Get some Midnight Cop. Some Seafoam Pudding. We're gonna get some Key Season in as well. And then that will hopefully... Very hopefully. Fingers crossed, like all the fingers crossed. If it gives us enough skill to fish up a, an Iridium Scorpion Carp. Hey, welcome, Vortex. Hopefully your night is uh, going well. Just uh, chilling with some Stardew Valley. Technically got everything we need for perfection. I, all we're doing is wait for Queen of Sauce. We'll do an extra goals. Extra challenges. But, uh, nonetheless. A bit of fun. Oh, that might be the wood skip. It moved a little fast. It's moving... Moving erratically. There it is. That was even a perfect catch. That's like double iridium. Beautiful. Now I can feel very special about that. I can put that wood skip... Wood skip macaroni art on the refrigerator. I've got like four of them for all my cooking ingredients. That'll be my tier list of macaroni art. What kind of thing would you put on your refrigerator in Stardew Valley? <laughs> It'd have to be really bad ma macaroni art. I should commit tree genocide at some point. Uh, maybe we have time to do the void salmon as well. Because that can be done anytime. And I don't think we can get midnight carp until like 10 p.m. We're just kind of like killing time. Killing a lot of time. I'm gonna take it out back and shoot it. Oh, that's right. That can't be dropped. Yeah, they do stack because you can have a food buff and a drink buff. Uh, so usually, uh, coffee or triple shot espresso is a great idea to have. And then you can also uh, pair that with any kind of like spicy eel or uh, crab cakes. You can also pair it with like ginger ale if you want like the luck buff as well. Pretty sure I saw it. Yeah. You anyway, I saw iridium fish in there. I think that means I have an albacore now. Yeah, so we have an albacore. We don't have to worry about that. We're slowly getting there. Okay, you have a great night, Vinny. Thanks for stopping by. And good luck with whatever you're working on. Or trying to accomplish, or, you know, however your day is going. That's right. Uh, let's see. Go into the witch's place. We need void salmon. Oh, shoot. That quality bobber's about to break. What does it require? I think it's something like solar essence... Yeah, Solar Essence Sap Copper Bar. That should be more than enough. So yeah, once we get more Midnight Carp, we'll get Key Seasoning. Uh, go, get out of my way. <laughs> I know what you're trying to apply, puppy. I, I have narrowed eyes. There's like a scowl. And be like, next time, puppy. Next time I will have the void summon luck. Just wait. <laughs> okay. There it is. At least that should be it. Let me just mess it up. I am very bad at some of these fish. What do you know? It's a void salmon. My teeth is clenched, puppy. My anger knows no bounds. And for folks that want context, uh... When we were playing multiplayer, Puppy and I were racing for the Void Salmon to do, uh, get it for the missing bundle. Uh, Puppy, I was there first to fish it up. I only got the Void Eel, and Puppy gets the Void Salmon and runs off triumphantly. And then he cursed my fishing, so I couldn't fish up anything. It was terrible. 
I could never fish again. I had to hang up my rod and take up, uh, Taylorin. Yeah, Taylorin. We're going with that. Yes. Hey, I just happened to get there first. I didn't cheat. Oh, I forgot to hug him. I don't actually want to lose friendship with Krobus. It's maxed out. Okay, so that gets rid of the wood skip and the void summon. We can actually get the stingray as well at some point. There's quite a few that... I know! <laughs> I thought I had got it! I was like, I didn't remember the void summon being this hard. And then it turns out it's a void eel and then I don't realize it until... Until I, uh, actually see. I th didn't, did Lyoki get the, uh, Void Eel yet? I think they did. I know that one was super hard to catch. Yeah, I put down my rod, and then I just, like, walked off into the sunset to begin an, an empire of alcohol. I just, I th always think of the movie, like, Death Becomes Her, where it's, they're plotting to kill the uh, one w woman, and it's like, we make it look like she's had just a little too much to drink. They're pouring, like, 50 bottles of alcohol over the car. <laughs> I just set it, set it to crash. There we go. Oh, that's not even the right place. This is the right place. My stingray luck has always been bad, so... I remember trying to get the five stingrays, and that was... ...horrifying enough. I don't think this is a stingray. It would be too simple. Too simple of a victory. Also, you're bullying me. Why are you bullying me, fish? I'm bullying. You were, like, almost caught. My goodness, you were the super boy. It's the worst bully in fish. Almost as much, much as legend. Oh, well that gets one of them off. <laughs> no wonder why it was a super cucumber. Okay, super cucumber was one of them I needed as well. Iridium quality, Joja Cola. When you feel like you need to catch... All the fish in the sea. Have a break and sip a cool, refreshing Joja Cola. Found at all your local Joja Marts. This video has been sponsored by Joja Cola. But yeah, you always gotta have the cool, refreshing Joja Cola. <laughs> I like getting non-stop super cucumbers. Even though it's only two. Two out of two casts is still 100%. Was oh, that another Gorman frog? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have so many of them. I'm just gonna have to place it around the island. And I'll have to paint like threatening messages on it. Get off my property. Yeah, stingrays are always evil. Ooh, that might be a stingray. It was jerking around. I think it's probably a super cucumber. I'm not sure if stingrays are all day. I think they stop at night. But I could be wrong. Oh! Yes, I am wrong. I'm wrong and I've got my stingray. Okay, I can cross that off. And the super cucumber. I do need a sea cucumber. That's at the ocean. This means now I can go and get my midnight cup. Hey, welcome back to Sonic. We're making it. We're slowly getting there. And so we can, soon we can say we're a master fisherman. Although probably not that much of a master, considering that we are basically getting there only through the uh, benefit of quality bobbers. Instead, I do not need quality midnight carps because... Plenty. 
I already have an Iridium one. I hope your day is going well, uh, Banasonic. Just kind of relaxing. We're mostly working on our fishing goals at the moment. Right now our hope is that we get some Midnight Carp. That we can make sea foam pudding. So then we can try and catch the Scorpion Carp. We're upgrading our carps effectively. Oh, nice. My day is going well. Well, hopefully your trip's been a uh, pleasant one. Hey, welcome, uh, I triple in. And yeah, Stardew Valley's a very fun, relaxing game. You just kind of fish, mine. There's also combat and so forth. But you can kind of take things at your own pace with it. But nonetheless, if you're heading out, you have a wonderful night. And let's see. That looks like a midnight carp. I'm not sure. Oh no, that's smallmouth bass. You tricked me. You tricked me, smallmouth bass. I don't know what to think anymore. My entire life's been a lie. Hey, welcome, Aegis. Hopefully your night's going well. It just. Trying to uh, get some more fishing goals done. We've got pretty much everything for perfection tackled, so now we're just in the extra goals. We're trying to catch an iridium quality of every fish outside of the legendary fish because we've already caught them. Uh, but that pretty much either means we need a perfect catch or we need quality bobbers to do that. Which we're using the quality bobbers because we are not skilled enough to get perfect catches with the harder fish. Ooh, maybe this is a midnight carp. I feel like more confident if I get like at least two or three of them. Momo bass, why are you doing this to me? Wait, one give computer part recommend, please? Like, wh what are you trying to get a recommendation for? I feel like there needs to be more specifics there. Maybe we fished up every night carp in these waters. It is a pretty small pond, after all. Link part? What part are we linking? Give up the search for the midnight carp. The whole parts of what? I'm a little confused. I would be delighted to uh, elaborate, but I need some first elaboration from yourself. Oh, if you're asking for a PC build, then I'm afraid I'm not the person to ask, because I don't really, I'm not very familiar with PCs in terms of actually building them or anything. Okay, we're just going to have to go with the one midnight carp that we got. We have to ride because Harvey is going to come out of the traveling cart and then just like ride it behind us, loading his tranquilizer gun, ready to shoot us at a moment's notice. Or as soon as 2 a.m. hits. Yeah, I'm afraid I wouldn't be the best person to ask for that, but I mean, sure, surely there should be some other folks more computer themed that might be able to uh, assist you. I do apologize, I'm just not really knowledgeable about it. Okay, so this stuff... It feels like this one always takes longer. Maybe it's because I keep seeing it every day. But yeah, I would, I would recommend trying to find some uh, folks that are much more knowledgeable about that. All right, well, you have a great night, Aegis. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, so we need to get some key seasoning, among other things. Oh god, we still need to get some starfruit seeds. We just keep forgetting that. Oh, after blowing me up with a bomb, Kent decides, here, have a battery instead. 
Okay, uh, let's see, check our... I feel like we should probably take our ancient fruit. Oh, no problem. Oh, it's blackberry season. I do have quite a few blackberries, so I don't have to really worry about it. Except for that blackberry, it'll never be finished. It'll never be obtained. Yeah, definitely research it, because uh, PC, whether or not you build it yourself, or if you're trying to get a good one, you're going to definitely be spending a pretty good amount of money. And that's an investment that you don't want to make a mistake on. Okay, uh, let's see. I guess we don't have to worry about making more wine today. We're also trying to kill time checking this stuff so that we can get this until the oasis opens. I mean, that's the big reason why we are spending so much time trying to just go through here. Do we have more? No, not yet. Okay, put up our ancient fruit. That's right, key seasoning. We don't want to do anything. We don't want to make any kind of cooking before. The person to kill an hour in the desert. Baking in the sun. Yeah, I think it's the butterfly hutch that we need to get. Because, yeah, we need to get the green turban and the magic turban. And I think there's another turban that's sold on the alternating days. So that we can... We need, like, 716 Omni Geodes. Yeah, we got... The, we stopped uh, last time after we got the uh, gold clock. Just because we were so close that I was like, I'm going to go until I get it. So now we're at 99% perfection. We just have Queen of Sauce. So we're trying to go through the alter, uh, extra goals. And also welcome. Yeah, don't... If you're going to just play, like, old text-based adventures, don't make, get a supercomputer. You don't need one. Okay, so we have more starfruit seeds to plant. We've also purchased Pam's house. We're just waiting for that to get finished. There. I think that should get us enough seeds for a while. Oh, it's two more days and then we'll have our first pumpkin harvest. <laughs> you definitely need a NASA computer for Oregon Trail. I mean, how else will you be able to calculate the, the depth of the rivers so accurately? Of course you need a NASA computer for it. If it can take you to the moon, it can take you to Oregon. Okay, so key seasoning, we're going to make seafoam pudding. I think we're then going to go back to the desert and try and see if we can get... full sliced ribs. I don't need you. But yeah, our plan's gonna be to go back to the desert so that we can make... Uh, try and catch that... Uh, scorpion carp. That's what it is. I'll get it eventually. I'm hoping with that excessive amount of fishing bonus... That it'll mean that even though it's like fishing zone 2 in that small pond... That we can still get a gold... A scorpion carp. Of course, that's only if we actually catch it. Since we have to have the quality bobber as well. This might still not go in our favor. But the good news is it's fall, so we can catch more midnight carp. Unless the smallmouth bass get in our way. P.S. They will get in our way. Oh, hey, welcome, uh, Dino. Or Dino. Sorry, I was like, D Dina at the first. Welcome, Dino Gamer. 
Hopefully your night is going well. Okay, we're almost done here. I know that I do want to buy some mushroom trees. Because I feel like that it's not going to have the full sense of decoration until, like, spring rolls around. And that'll feel... Because, I mean, when winter rolls around, you have that kind of barren kind of feeling to it. Like, we're going to try and decorate, but I get the feeling that decoration won't look as good. But it's a learning experience. Oh, no problem. You have a great night. Ah, believe me. I'd never apologize for having to leave quickly. Watching a person play games on the internet is the lowest priority. No, 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 we're not doing Jader in the Deep again. Good God. We're not doing Junimo Kurt either. Here we are. We need to buy his hat so that we can put it in our stuff. You know, maybe we'll get the bed as well. But yeah, we just have those last few cooking recipes. Wait, what did I miss? Oh, I missed the spot for the seeds. I know some spots have kind of gotten unused and have lost their fertilizer and everything. If you're talking about that, that one's outside of a spot. With that. You're talking about this one. I'm sorry, Dina. That one's for you. Also this one I should probably have looted. Uh, that depends, uh, Clay. The, if you're in year one, the egg festival can be good because you can get uh, strawberries. Uh, strawberry seeds are pretty powerful. They, the thing is, because they take eight days to grow... And you're going to get two harvests unless you have speed grow, which is unlikely at that point. Uh, you know, it's... You're still going to make good money if you do star... Um, if you do strawberries. Plus, strawberries are also a love gift for both Maru and Demetrius, which makes it a pretty good idea to grow some strawberries. <laughs> you are old now. I'm glad to have helped you. But I mean, at the end of the day, unless you're going like for full completion, you can get by. Because I mean, there's you can always grow kale or potatoes if you want to get farming experience. Those are also really strong options. Okay, so we need flounder. Do I have a flounder? I do. Beautiful. Is it plus five fishing? So I presume with the master enchant that would push me to plus sixteen fishing, which I thought fifteen was the cap. So I'm not sure if this will let me do things. Go beyond. Go beyond. We'll put our seasoning in there. That way it'll be all ready whenever we want to make use of it. All right, to the desert. Oh, God, there's more. There's more stuff to uh, do. I have to get people drunk. See, that's the magic phrase that finishes your kegs. As soon as you say that, all of your kegs will just be magically done. See? Case in point. It's like the ancient Egyptian phrase when you play Forewarned. When you get Talgor, and he's invisible, but saying things will freeze him. You just say, piss off Talgor, and he'll freeze in place. Right. To the desert. Uh, where, like, destiny and other things await. Destiny is a scorpion carp that will help me get this off this list. I don't know if anyone's played Forewarned, but that's a delightful little uh, horror game. Kind of like Phasmophobia. 
I like the updates that's given it to where you can banish a little too far in. There we go, that might be enough. And it certainly adds to... You have to actually explore more thoroughly to get that done. I should get lucky. Ooh, that looks like a scorpion. No, that's probably sandfish. Scorpion carp is much worse. Oh, you can get to 16. I feel like I've learned things today. Now if I can learn how to get the Iridium Scorpion Cup. How long do I have? Oh, only four... A little over four minutes. Come on, Scorpion Cup. You know you want to come after me. It's kind of nice having that big of a bar. I might need it if we're going for the lava eel. This still seems like a sandfish. Scorpion carp is much worse than this. Like, you'll know when it's a scorpion carp. Yeah, see, that's a scorpion carp. Good God, and it's bullion. Stop bullying, Scorpion Carp. Jeez. Oh, oh no, I almost had it. Oh no. <laughs> there we are. Did I get it? Ah, yes, Iridium. There we go. So then that was the uh, thing that we needed. Okay, maybe I still have enough time to make it over to... Um, Triple Shot Espresso, make it over to the island. That's another one off the uh, list. Maybe we can get the Lava Eel. It's going to be, like, very close. Because I do know that if you, once you get above, like, and fishing, like, and foraging and so forth, you can get a lot of extra stuff because you can get even more stuff from the bushes. I think it's Forge in 12 where you get an extra berry. Okay. Never tried fish in the volcano, but from my understanding, the volcano should be a viable place. A viable place for, you know, JoJo's CDs. And trash. After all, trash is known. Ah, you see, JoJo Cola now, that makes sense. JoJo Cola is immune to lava. It still retains its cool, refreshing properties, even when submerged in a volcano. Yeah, well, you see... Uh, those glasses, those ones were reinforced. They were highly resistant to lava, but not like someone punching the glasses. Well, no, 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 you see, Jojo Cola retains its cool properties. It's still ice cold. And you see that um, newspaper, that's the kind of newspapers that the uh, lava eels circulate amongst their kind. And that's Lava Eels mixtape. Hey, welcome, uh, Swan Official. <laughs> well, you see. This, uh, fishing line has been reinforced with iridium carefully. Oh, oh god, we actually got the... We actually hooked it. Come on. No, 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 don't bully. Don't bully me. No bully. Bully Lava Eel. Everyone knows that if you yell at a fish, no bully, shame. Shame on you, Lava Eel. That's how you catch it. And it's Iridium quality. Beautiful. Thank goodness for uh, the high fishing skill and the, um, what is it? The uh, quality bobber, because otherwise there's no way I would catch this. Okay, so we got those off. Quite a few of the other ones that we need are going to be in... Um, I like the octopus, or so forth. 
Okay, so that gets those off the list. Yeah, you have to verbally abuse the fish if you want to catch them. It's like you can't break an omelet without making eggs, or you can't catch a fish without verbally abusing it. They go hand in hand. Besides, I'm just reuniting all the fish so I can forge the ultimate fish in the fires of the volcano. It was foretold. That being said, we need to get another midnight carp if we want to do that again. We're definitely going to need to do that for a, um, if we're going to even think about doing that for like the octopus. But puppy, keep in mind, I have 15. Wait, I only have 15 now? How did I go down? Oh, that's because I don't have my my fishing rod. I, I gain fishing knowledge when I hold the rod, clasping it tightly. I'm the master fisherman here. I think I know how this works. Oh, I should have probably exchanged my gems for, like, staircases and whatnot. <laughs> I know. I have to at least... I have to be at least a little bit pretentious with the, uh... the the, the uh, fishing skill. When the, uh, seafoam pudding wears off, then I, I don't get to have that entire boastful I know everything there is about fishing! Because then I won't know everything about fishing. But while you have the food for the ridiculous bonus, that's when you have to be super pretentious. Like, I can even tell Willie he doesn't know a thing about fishing, and all Willie can do is sulk in the corner and cry. Like, our lad, that's right. I know nothing about fishing compared to your vast knowledge. Oh god, it wore off. Now I know nothing about fishing. This is horrifying and terrible. But maybe I only know, like, 60% of fishing. But unfortunately, Willy knows, like, 75% fishing. You know, in single player, that's probably true. My hope is that I don't get a, a giant pumpkin in a very inconvenient spot. Oh, no, 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 you see... Can't, I can't really insult Willy. Right, we're like super good friends as well. See, we're like besties. He's on this list somewhere. Yeah, see? He's like besties. He's, he's even like, I don't mind if you imply that I don't know a thing about fishing. Oh, it's not even time for the, um... Not even time for this one Midnight Carp to come out to play. I know, I just gotta catch... I need a few more Midnight Carp. I feel like if I get to fish in 16, then the octopus will be a little more in the bag. At which point, we can then... Like, we can use Magic Bait for the Sturgeon, the Lingcod, to get to them now, instead of waiting until winter. Uh, same thing for the squid. And then... I think it's... We can get the octopus on Ginger Island. Ditto for the pufferfish. So those ones aren't... as big. But I do kind of want to try and knock out the fishing goal as quickly as possible. That way I don't have to worry about it. I can then focus on clothes. And then this these last, like, month can be like... Welcome to my fashion, my perfection fashion line. Where I outdo Haley. Just with mecha coals that fix, fit in one little dresser. It's like my dresser of Holden. Oh yeah, certainly. You have to pick on the fish that you like. I particularly like Midnight Fish. Midnight uh, carp, that is, not midnight fish. We just need to do, like, the voodoo detective thing and do, like, backhanded compliments. That was just too amazing. Alright, good, that's at least one. 
They have two flounders that are not iridium quality in one of those chests, so as long as we get a second midnight carp, then we can call it a day, because we really just need it for, like, the octopus. Like, a squid and lingcod aren't easy to catch, but I'm pretty confident that I can get it after a few tries. There we go. Okay, so squids can actually be caught until 2 a.m. Maybe. Just maybe. I don't really like my chances right now, especially because all my stuff is elsewhere. Where's my bug beat? Um, let me see, where is my squid ink? There it is. Uh, you have to grow the melons in a 3x3 three three spot. As long as there's a 3x3 three by three spot of melons uh, that are currently not harvested, there's a 1% chance it'll grow into a giant melon. So you just need to do that. Okay, so we need more bug meat. We can get bug meat the good old-fashioned way if it comes down to it. I definitely need more magic bait. There we go. It's all glowing and stuff. With radioactive power. That's how you know it's good. Yeah, the crops will then last through any season. Which can be pretty darn nice. Especially if they grow in the place that you want them to. Probably gonna hate it in terms of decor decoration and everything. Actually, I think you could catch anything regardless of time with magic bait. This might mean we'll catch something like a, an octopus. Even though we don't want to catch an octopus. Because if it makes everything available, then it probably means that my chances of catching any specific thing is going to be pretty low. So I guess it's still worth trying out. We can try and get some of the stuff that we uh, need. That and I've never used magic bait before, so it's a learning experience. Is this probably a super cucumber? This is a puffer fish. That would be pretty awesome to catch a puffer fish now. No, 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 no. I only say puffer fish because it's going up a lot, and puffer fish tend to do that. Jeez, come on, no bully! Oh no! Yeah, oh, jeez, this is why I need the sixteen fishing. God, I thought my Z's were the uh, thing to catch a fish. Okay, we've learned that we are not a good fisherman. Ah, get lost, Tilapia. Shoot, Harvey is about to surface. Oh god, that's the octopus. Oh no, no, no. Oh shoot, we're not gonna catch this. There's absolutely no way. That's why I use trap poppers.
Yeah, we we want 16 fish if we're doing this. Jump into bed. Quickly. Dramatically. I will say that uh, key, uh, Mr. Keybed does look pretty swanky. Okay, so with two of those seafoam ones, we could potentially get what we need there. Maybe we'll actually be able to make this work now. Maybe. Oh, I think Lewis sends the thing about the uh, fair the next, being next week. Oh, that's very touching. However, we also need to get another prismatic shard. Wait, what was our luck again? I think it was neutral. Uh-oh. Yeah, it was neutral. Better not be another telemarketer. Oh, that you? I have some of that good sauce still, friend. It's making me very, very happy. Just want to thank you. Bye-bye, friend. I just a bear have a cell phone? That makes no sense. I'm very disappointed by have bears being able to call me at any hour of the day. How did the bear get my phone number as well? He probably just went to a shop and got it. I mean, after all, if a bear comes into a shop and wants a phone, are you going to say no? Or maybe he just wore a ski mask and he stole a phone. That being said, I think pretty close to having Pam's house built. You see, there's plenty of good reasons of how a bear got a phone. That would be interesting, Froglin. I think he is a vendor in Stardew Valley Expanded. But you can get a Junimo to uh, be your housemate there as well. Starfruit wine. We got some ancient fruit wine. And now the big money rolls in. And now we can just give the finger to poverty. And once again be able to be like, I am super wealthy. Nothing can keep me down. And if it can, I can probably buy my way out of it. Okay, uh, let me see. Oh, we've already bought everything that we needed for the extras, other than the shortcut, and that's only 300,000. I don't think we're going to be unable to pay for 300,000 worth of uh, gold. I'm going to genuinely be curious to how much uh, starfruit, how much wine just in general we've shipped by then, since we're already up to like 5,500. I mean, that's already a pretty excessive amount. That doesn't even count that we've also done like pumpkin juice quite a bit. So even though we've shipped out a lot of wine, it could have been much higher. Especially if in year one we had done more to uh, get on top of starfruit. Originally, that was the plan. I just ran out of money after doing summer crops. 
And so by the time I could actually do starfruit in the summer, it was too late. I think we only got like 10 starfruit. It was like 10 or 20. I guess it's if we were to ever do this again, budget our money a little bit better. But then again, this run had some very good early game luck because we got a treasure chest while fishing. And that early 5,000 was a real godsend. Uh, it's actually the further from shore uh, clay that matters. As the fishing zone does in fact matter, so the farther you cast out, from land, the better. But if it's like a uh, river and that you're casting by the uh, shore of the other side, that's going to be bad. So try to cast in the middle of the river or as far out into the water as you can. And then that will be much more beneficial. I'm guessing the tunnel probably has some fine as well that we can get. Oh god, yeah, that's like a million gold right there. Yeah, that's the big thing about fishing, um, because especially early on, your cast can't go out very far. But uh, the moment that you actually begin really getting off uh, skill, I think it's at like 1, 4, and 8. Yeah, I think it's 1, 4, and 8 for fishing that you can cast further. Oh, goodness, no, I'm not wise. Uh, there's quite a few things on this that I've learned from playing, but it's... I'm certainly not, like, some master of the game. A lot of this run has just been taking notes. Like, a lot of notes beforehand about things that I've learned, or otherwise have seen and be done. And just trying to see if I could get more stuff done with it. Okay, so then we're going to try doing this on the ocean. Hmm. Maybe with another quality bobber. And that should be... That should be enough bobbers and everything. I mean, the best outcome is that we catch the octopus, the sea cucumber... A couple of other things that aren't otherwise easily able to be caught. Yeah, you can see how we can cast super far now that we have 16 fish in. Oh good, red mullet. That was one that I needed. It's red mullet's only summer and winter. And as you can see, the bar gets bigger as your fishing skill gets up. This is why it's so horrible when you're at level zero. Ooh, that's something. Probably tuna. <laughs> oh, jeez, do I do? Do I recognize tuna that well? I didn't think I would. Sea Cucumber is the other one that we really need. Which we can get normally. Actually, during this specific time. I think we're just mostly going for the squid at this point. Because the squid is the only thing that we have to wait till winter. Whereas, uh, like, the octopus we can get on Ginger Island... Not at the moment, because they're only 6 a.m. to 1 p.m. Um, we could get sea cucumbers no normally. Oh, super cucumber, why are you doing this to me? I just want a squid. If I get a squid, then I could go up to the mountain lake. As the mountain lake will give me a lingcod and a sturgeon if I'm lucky.
da da I need to make sure I have bobbers. Is anything... I hook a uh, squid, and my chances of a perfect catch are very low. I know which ones will mess me up. There it is. Oh, beautiful. I didn't even think that was a squid at first. Okay, so I have the uh, fishing. Why don't I do this? Go up to the mountains. And try to get the lingcod and the sturgeon. But if I do that, I still have two and a half minutes with that. We could potentially, emphasis on potentially, knock out the two fish that um, would really benefit from having magic bait. Of course, just because we hook them doesn't mean we'll actually catch them. I'm reasonably confident I can catch a sturgeon in Lingcod, especially with the 16 fish in. I guess the only way we could make the bar bigger is if we had a uh, cork bobber. It would seem pretty ridiculous. That's the thing, we're not... It's not clear that we'll actually hook, let alone catch one of them. But I wonder if it's just with magic bait that it's an equal chance to catch any fish in there. That's any possibility. I've never actually played with magic bait much. Or at all until now. And I've known of it. Yeah, these ones are the easier ones. The ones I already have. And I have to soon start tossing them in my Ridium trash can to turn them into coins. But yeah, Sturgeon and Lincod uh, would be... At that point, we just need to do Pufferfish and Octopus on Ginger Island. Ooh, that might be the Lingcod or a Sturgeon. Unless that's... It doesn't seem like that'd be a largemouth bass. They don't go that crazy. Alright, there's the Lingcod. I toss that. And in fact, we need the red mullet. I do want the sardines, so we're just... Right, so one more to go. Oh, that's right. We still need to get the ones from the night market. Oh, my fish is going away. I think we'll save the other sea foam put in for the. Um... We'll save that for the octopus. Whenever we do Ginger Island. We can kind of fix this. One second. Let me uh, make a few notes. Beautiful. So the only thing we should have left is pufferfish, octopus, sea cucumber, sturgeon, and the night market ones. We might actually go and do the night market ones right now. Since those ones are hev more heavily dependent on magic bait. And Lingcod. I 
know that when I actually decorate this place, I am going to need to move these kegs. Because they look less pretty. They're not going to be as lovely for our place. But we do have some Dish of the Sea, so that's something that we can actually make use of. Yeah, I see three of them. Also fish stew. We'll just take the entire Dish of the Sea. Alright, we do need to get another prismatic shard if we want this to work. Okay, uh, we were going for night market stuff. That's back to the ocean. Like farmer, why are you out in the rain? If just like roughly saying, I got reasons. Okay, so that those bubbles are gonna be a little harder to get than I thought. Oh, then they disappear. Bubbles, you betrayed me. Why would you betray me? We need a uh, midnight squid, a spook fish, and a blob fish. If we get this. Ooh, I wonder which one this one is. I don't know if those overlap as well with other fish. I mean, I can see it does with the sardines. There's the puffer fish. Nice. It's one less one to worry about. We might actually get these fish goals done pretty soon. And then it's just going to be prismatic shot of farming. That we can get all the magic rock candy. We need to do the thing where it's like slipped between each finger so that it can look extra cool. Okay. But yeah, I wonder what the actual percentages are if they're just equal. Because I get the feeling that it's probably that. No ones like the curiosity lore increase the chances of rare fish. Okay, there's another squid. Not that we need one. I need a midnight squid. But I guess it's not midnight, so it's the loophole. And of course, we could always do this once the night market comes into play. So yeah, whenever the uh, I, we go back to the island, we need to remember to go there or either sleep on there so that we can immediately go for the octopus. I'm pretty sure we're going to do something stupid and mess up getting the octopus. <laughs> that even with 16 fish it... Oh, come on. <laughs> no, I just kept bouncing it. Oh, jeez. I shouldn't have gone for that chest. But I'm pretty sure I'll mess something up with the octopus. I know myself too well. I make too many mistakes with fishing. If we ever do a Stardew Valley expanded one single player for like perfection, then there's so many more things that we'd have to do. So many extra fish. Although I think I'm going to take a nice little break from Stardew Valley other than trying to finish up the multiplayer one after I finish this run. 
think it's probably three more streams and then we'll be done with um, perfection. Because I've generally been going for about 14 days, 15 days, somewhere in that range each stream. I do not need you, Tuna. Really don't need you either, Geode. Or you, little emerald. There's been a complete lack of uh, night market fish over here. Mm -hmm. We actually get at least one. Oh, sea cucumber. Good, that's actually one of them I needed. I mean, it's not night market stuff, but it's still one that was on the list. And there's one of them. Beautiful. I guess that's the secret to complain and you'll eventually you'll be blessed with one. So yeah, that just leaves Midnight Squid and Blobfish. Now we don't have to come back for a sea cucumber during the day. And if by some chance we actually get the other two, then it'd just be a sturgeon and an octopus. A sturgeon requiring magic bait. And the octopus just being on Ginger Island. But I think the next day we'll probably need to do Skull Cavern, try and farm prismatic shards. We really need to not do this thing where it's like Thursday and we're just desperately trying to get a prismatic shard. Midnight Squid. Okay, so we just need the Blobfish now. Don't need the Halibut. Or the Heron. Alright, beautiful. We just need a Blobfish now. Then we can rest for the next day. I don't know if we'll just hit the island immediately. Yeah, we're getting there. I know it must be a little bit dull to watch fishing. But I understand that it's like 90% of the game, like in Spirit Fair. But can't you do something a little more exciting? That's why we'll probably be doing Skull Cavern tomorrow. Just trying to farm prismatic shards. All the while. They have a... And then we'll probably come back here to finish the blobfish, the sturgeon, and the octopus. And then we'll actually have an iridium quality fish of every type. A little barring legendary fish. We'll actually be kind of curious. Of course, we didn't get perfect catch all of them. In fact, most of them we failed horribly. But we can still feel some sense of achievement. We can put the macaroni art on the refrigerator. What are the odds that Mr. Key will just walk in there, tear it down, and grind it under his feet? And been like, you done bad, kid. You did the dishonorable thing of quality bobbers. But yeah, magic bait's kind of fun to use. I didn't think that it would be uh, this kind of curious assortment. I wonder how many other fish there actually are in here that it's a uh, divvy and up between. My poor inventory space. It's not going to last. like, Pierre, why don't you sell me yet another backpack upgrade? I'm already carrying around too many things. 
need more backpack space. More. Ooh, that one looks a little promising. Oh no, no. <laughs> no, it uh, bullied me. It tricked me by 1 a.m. thing. My farmer was falling asleep, that's why he failed. And he's been in the rain for God knows how long. I know. It's unfortunate. <laughs> but even so. I failed at plenty of fishing things. I am not very good at the fishing game, unfortunately. Ah, uh, but you forgot Banda Sonic. Fails instantly. That was like hardcore failure. The kind that has the disapproving look. Like Mr. Key and Grandpa were just like, You done bad, kid. You done bad. Okay, uh, let's see. What's our luck today? Bears are still neutral. Ah, oh, that's right. Here we go. I mean, even if we're messing up that bad, we're still making progress. That's the important thing. Do I finally have a giant pumpkin? Well, not yet there. You make me sad, pumpkins. But have you made me happy? Yes, you have. Beautiful. Oh, that's right. All of these ones I forgot, too. I, I didn't get enough time for Deluxe Speed Group. We have got it. The very last one we needed. So now we have a giant crop of every type. I think Pam's house is probably done by now as well. Otherwise we'll have to be like, Robin, hurry it up. I got places to go, people to see. Just put that up. Places to fish. That being said, we probably should go and fish. Oh, that's what it was. I was like, there's eight trees. Why is there only seven in there? And then I finally see the pomegranate. I'm trying to be very sneaky. So we're going to be bringing that for the octopus. Where is my pumpkin seeds? Pumpkin seeds, where are you? God, that's not going to be enough pumpkin seeds. Ah, oh, goodness. Pierre, you better be open and at that counter. Otherwise, I will um, give you a death glare. Oh, there it is. Hey, Cranky, so what do you think? It looks nice, but I don't think that costs half a million gold, Robin. Did you embezzle any? <laughs> Maybe. feel pretty good about it. In fact, it might be my finest work yet. Notice the round window? Very, very difficult to bend the frame like that. Oh, and the intricate carvings on the door took me forever. Did you notice that? Robin, we're at the side of the house. We're not in the front. Also, why did you place beer bottles on the top of that? 
Oh, that wasn't me. That was Pam. Oh, <laughs> I guess I'm rambling about wood again. Huh? Anyway, I'm gonna go talk to them, but first I have to ask. You want me to tell them that you paid for this? Jeez, oh, which one do we pick? I feel like we should... I feel like we shouldn't be doing it for credit. We're trying to be nice. We're gonna be anonymous. Just say that it was, um, from someone named Guy Incognito. Okay, you stay here then. That's okay, I'll be part of the bushes like I always am. Hi there, neighbors. That's a nice new house you got there. And <laughs> Bam's like, what the hell happened to our trailer? Who made off with it? Robin, I, I don't know what to say. This is a dream come true. It's all I've ever wanted. Free house. Robin, thank you so much. Hey, don't thank me. Someone else came up with the idea, and they paid for everything too. Who? Maybe it's the super wealthy farmer? Nah, that'd be like Bruce Wayne being Batman. I can't say. They insisted on remaining anonymous. But if you look in the bushes over there... I'm literally like six feet away from them. They probably stayed anonymous so we wouldn't have to feel obligated to them. Whoever you are... You truly are a pure angel. Well, I wouldn't go that far. Hey, Robin, I paid so much extra for this. Benny, from now on, we'll be like a real family. You hear? I don't want to be so bitter all the time anymore. I'm going to try to turn my life around. Aw. Aw. Well, hopefully that actually lasts. And it's not like empty promises or something. Alright, give me the pumpkin seeds, Pierre. Oh, stop looking at your shells, Pierre. That bottle's been in the same place the entire time I've been here. Are you even listening to me, Pierre? That's right, get back to the counter. I've got an infinity blade, and I'm definitely not afraid to murder you. I mean, it, there's no even, there's no law enforcement in this town. No one could even, well, I guess the wizard could probably do something. Wizard boss fight, that'll be interesting. Yeah, once you, uh, if you go to the community center, he'll stay open on, um, on Wednesdays. That being said, we also need to go to Robin's so that way we can... Buy the a next community upgrade. And be done with it all. Possibly forever. Or don't even think of leaving your house, Robin. What's that? You like me to add a few shortcuts around the valley? Sure, I can do that. I'll just need 300,000 gold. Thank you. I should be ready and finished in around three days. I bet she's just embezzling the bulk of these funds. This is, that sounds like such a Robin thing to do. <laughs> hey! Hey! Pierre kind of deserved it. He's not at the counter. Just because he hasn't opened yet doesn't mean that he can, uh, you know, like, slack off and stare at the shelves. Not even nice shelves. I don't even know why he's staring at those. So good money from this. This looks like it's probably about 30-ish. Probably more than 30. Yeah, we're already above 30. I can't count. I see the lone one there. And does that mean the tunnel has some? Hmm. 
No, I try not to stare at shelves. Why would I stare at the shelves? Pierre has the weirdest hobbies. Like you, I would imagine that Pierre would be staring at the cash register at the very least. So he can be like, look at all this money I have. And all that money I will soon have. He like laughs maniacally. I mean, after all, he's made countless amounts of money from me. But then again, I think I probably made more money from him. I don't know how he continues to buy all this wine that I ship out. But then again, he's probably, you know, has some markup. He's like probably selling it for like 5,000 gold. But he's making a pretty big profit off of me. In which case, he should be even more willing to go to do the register and sell me pumpkin seeds. Even if it's like in the middle of the night. If I break in with a ski mask and I'm like, Pierre, I want your pumpkin seeds. He should be willing to be like, yeah, sure, 100 gold, please. Just don't stab my family. You've got an understanding. Pierre's ruining that. Why would you stare at Joe's? Don't do it. It's a trap. That's how they get you. The man keeps you down by making you stare at shells all day. Like, 9 to 5. Professional shelf stare. To even get a job in that field, you need 10 years of professional shelf staring. So once we get these done, we'll probably go to the island real fast to see what our star fruits looking like. I also get the feeling that some of our wine is ready on the kegs there. We can't get the um, octopus without magic bait today. But we're going to go back to the ocean to try and fish up the blubfish. If we can at least get that, we can then get the, um, we can then go to the, um, what's it? We can then, uh, finish up that, go to the lake, get the sturgeon, and then go to Ginger Island and try and fish up an octopus. And if we do that, we'll have all the Iridium ones done. We can move on to our clothing fashion line. We're going to take Stardew Valley by storm for a brand new fashion accessories. Shirts. Shoes. I don't think you can really make shoes. Maybe we'll just go for jewelry. Rings. Going to go with two rings? No, we got a ring on every finger. Go off our bling all throughout Pelican Town. And we'll figure out what else we can do. I kind of, kind of forgotten about Truffle Mafia. They're still there. I still believe in them. So the real question is, how many casts, casts is it going to take to get a Blobfish? then beyond that will we actually hook you know if we hook it will we actually catch it or will we get bullied bullied hardcore i am saving the sea foam pudding for the octopus i do not trust my ability to catch an octopus oh we actually got an extra that's awfully nice thank our daily luck Although, whatever we choose to do today, we still have to, on uh, the very next day, do Skull Caverns. We have to go once again for another Prismatic Shard, because we do not know how to budget our time effectively. We're just like, 
I should probably stockpile prismatic shards so that I can buy this magic rock candy up on time. Nah. I like doing this hectic song and dance kind of thing before um, running out of time. I think I maybe shouldn't have tried to be so sporadic with the fertilizer. I think those were just the surviving patches. Oh god, they're boxed in by these truffles. Truffle Mafia, I'll save you. See, look how happy they are. You get saved. Uh, let's see. After that, put those pumpkins up. Go to the island. Put the pumpkins in the refrigerator. Well, thank you for your kind words, Krubus. Oh, and probably should put these pumpkin seeds up. Okay, so we need to go to the island. At least we're running out of things to do. Maybe the last thing we can do is build a hammock, get some sunshades. And just, you know, like, sip a drink. As we wait for the end of the year. Yeah, that'll be good to do on uh, Sunday. Hmm. So yeah, we'll have to be ready to go to Skull Cavern regardless of what luck shows. Hopefully this is one of those things, fingers crossed, where I actually get decent luck. So far that's held. But I know perfectly well that at some point it's not going to hold. That's what it was. Okay. And then check the wine. Ooh. Okay, ancient fruit. And it's just go on over, check our wine, and then go back to the ocean. Try to get that blobfish. Oh, I should have gotten rid of those. Emphasis on should have. But didn't. It's hard to believe that so much time has already passed. Ah, good thing the return journey costs nothing. Loophole, Willy. Lily's just upset that... Oh, goodness. That actually didn't work out very well. I just realized my quality bumper's about to break. And it doesn't do me any good if I have the uh, stuff not... You know, if I don't have... There it is. It does me no good at all if I don't have any of the um, bobbers on hand. We'll put those up. I mean, there's always the chance that I'll get an octopus by hooking in the uh, ocean, but I think it's a pretty small chance. I don't have a lot of confidence in catching one anyway. 
But hopefully, hey, hopefully we'll get one. That'd be a nice little bit of uh, luck. That'll save us some time on Ginger Island. Should probably have used a fish buff. Watch this be an octopus. Okay, good thing. <laughs> I would certainly have hated that, were that the case. Like, my best played plans have gone astray. Certainly the thing where you get the feel as to what fish it is, but Magic Base kind of thrown it off, so now I don't know what to expect. All I know is if it goes crazy, it's probably an octopus. Or a super cucumber. See, that doesn't feel like an oct- well, maybe that's an octopus. Well, I don't think this one's actually an octopus. Yeah, pufferfish. It just has to move around a lot more if it's going to be an octopus. Like, sometimes you get it where they'll be stationary, but other times... You can kind of tell. No, no, oh. Don't mind me. For the moment I forget to do the quality bobber, I'm going to get the hard fish. And even if I catch it, it won't be iridium. Okay, this one... Probably tuna. Oh no, it's an eel. That's actually a pretty passive eel. Tuna Dash, thank you for the sub. It's usually... I feel the eels are a little more crazy than that. Okay, hell, that makes sense. I mean, some of them you can just... Oh god, that's an uh, octopus. Oh jeez. No bully. No bully, octopus. Almost had you, octopus. No bully. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, right. <laughs> We <laughs> got him. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that that's the hardest one to deal with. Oh jeez. The octopus just moves around so fast that you just You can't really it's very hard to predict where it's going. And especially with any of these faster ones, you just like Am I even going in the right direction? This one's a bit on the harder side. It feels like a super cucumber. Oh, no, pufferfish. Well, good thing is, we got the octopus out of the way. Actually, we didn't check the quality, but I'm pretty sure it's iridium. Making assumptions has never caused anything to go wrong, has it? There it is. Beautiful. Iridium. And Iridium. Okay, so we have... Fish, Octopus, Sea Cucumber. We got all of those. We just need a Sturgeon now. And if we get a sturgeon, we've got all of them. Every single last one. And then we can move on for fishing. Hopefully forever. We're actually going to need another blobfish for the blobfish mask. Also, one second. I'm getting a little raspy. I need a quick drink.
There we are. Sorry about that. Okay. Actually, now that I think about it, I do have some uh, silver and gold quality blobfish, so I'm actually okay on that. Alright, so let's see if we can get the sturgeon tonight. If we can, it'll knock it out. We'll be done. I just gotta hope for good luck. That also does the benefit of we don't have to uh, worry about going to Ginger Island. So Sturgeon is generally a little weaker than the Lingcod. It's usually pretty chaotic. Oh, that's a... Oh, why? Yeah. You forget magic bait. I'm under the assumption that I needed rain. And the weather doesn't matter. But the sturgeon's useful for getting caviar. Like you need two fish ponds at the very least, if you want to get everything for the shipping bin. The sturgeon for one, and then pretty much whatever you like for the second. But I think what we need to do with the lava eel one is that we need to put like the skull braziers around it. All right, you have a great night, puppy. Thanks for stopping by. So we can have like that pool of blood with the skull braziers just burning. That can be like our sacrificial pool, a doom farm. How Doom Farm re it retains its prosperity throughout the years. Okay, so this might not work out. So if it doesn't work out, then we'll just do it on Friday, because Thursday is our desperate, please give us a prismatic shard skull caverns day. That's right, everything else is purchased, so we're basically done with that. Once those shortcuts are done, that is. So that should be done by the 13th, 14th, somewhere in that range. So before the Stardew Valley Fair. It'll be set and done. I just gotta figure out how we're gonna decorate. I've always been bad at decorating, so this is going to be uh, interesting. The few times I have tried to decorate and got somewhere like decent, took like several days of game time just to set up how I wanted it, and I still wasn't like completely happy with it. Just looked more. You know, less ugly. Hmm. <laughs> Poor Sturgeon. You're the last. You're the last one I need for my collection. Okay, this is the last cast for the night. Of course, Harvey's gonna get us. So, good thing is that um, pretty much gets most of that fish and stuff tackled. So then Friday we can just finish that out. Hopefully the 70-ish magic bait we have is enough to catch a sturgeon. And if not, well, there's always winter. But if we do get one, 
that's one more goal off the list. Alright, so we need to buy some bombs from the dwarf. We need to, we need to use good old-fashioned explosives. Oh, see, spirits are happy. The cat's happy. I'm happy. Except for that storm that's coming. Even the storm's happy. Who wants to high-five me with lightning? Yeah, I feel like I don't need the magma cap. Just put these things up. Alright, to the dwarf, and then the desert. Oh, that's right, we should pick up the... Uh... Harry <laughs> can't just mail me more bombs. Probus, you didn't see, like, Kent just, like, lighting bombs and just trying to set them off in my mailbox, have you? I feel like you should probably say something if that's the case. There we go. That should be enough explosives. All we need to do is just set them off all at once. See Pelican Town go sky high. <laughs> Got all the fish and stuff tackled. Yeah. Oh man, I'm trying to think of a bad pun as well. Apologies. Suppose you say, I got my line tangled up. See, that was even worse. Ooh. I might have to switch back to the, um, old Diodes profession. double geodes. I mean, I've got about 500, so I suppose by the time I actually get all of this done, probably still I'll probably have enough. I guess it's one of those things where we'll have to play by ear. Go activate blend up mode. It just seems like that if you don't push them against the wall, you're just gonna have a bad time. Ooh, Ruby. Rubies are so nice just for the free spicy eels. Like, I didn't even have the key to Skull Caverns and I, when I fixed the bus initially. And the only reason I did it was so I could trade my rubies for Spicy Eel. That's how useful having a speed buff is. Especially early game, your character more like... saunters, More like power walks. It's like, come on man, you gotta speed things up, you only have a limited hours in the day. It's just like, nah, nah, it's all good. Don't fret. Don't worry. Like, I'll worry if I want to. That's another reason, I, reason to love the burglar ring. 
Those ghosts will basically be guaranteed to drop. Almost guaranteed. But uh, just about guaranteed to drop uh, two Omni Geodes. Which is pretty darn nice. Especially by the time that you actually get into here to start. It'll be a lot more useful. Fortunately, as time goes on, it'll become distinctly less useful. But when you're working on the collections, that's kind of nice. I know Omni Geos help play a good part in getting places. I guess my luck with the uh, shafts have run out. Then again, like a 20% chance. Sometimes it just doesn't work out, at least for a while. Maybe I need to kill this bat. Yep, yeah, see? Sometimes the easiest way is just kill the enemies. I mean, early on when you have the rusty sword, it doesn't work out so well, but... Later on, it does. Okay. No, no, no. I need you to be, like, right here. Just so that I can get an easy... Emphasis on easy... Exit. It is really nice when you get those big cluster rocks like that. It's when you can just blow up everything with one bomb. It just feels nice to be able to just take out all of it in one go. I guess once you actually get the hang of all of it, it becomes a lot of fun to just kind of go through the mines. I'm still not good enough to really do a lot of, uh, delving early on. At least quickly. I'm pretty bad at quite a big, uh, chunk of the early game. The only thing I can do is fish decently. And even then, it's nothing compared to the folks that max it out in a few days. But it's still fun while it lasts. Artemis. <laughs> I guess she doesn't want to come over. <laughs> I guess she'll probably come over and just want attention at a, a moment or two later. It seems to be his style. Apologies for cat aggro. Oh, I see that freebie over there. It will take my freebie and I will... Head deeper. But yeah, I guess there's also a good reason to pick up the ore, since we we always need more ore. Oh god, that's a uh, quite the clump of iridium. More iridium than I would have expected. I mean, even if it didn't give us what we need. Also, apologies if it's kind of started lagging a bit. I 
My game kind of started stuttering. Wonder. But yeah, Skull Cavern's also better than the mines for just getting ore in general. Oh, there's the there's the ladder. So it's worth just coming here, even once you have everything that you need. But yeah, it's a good place even once you're um, all set. Oh, that's a uh, yeah, that's a crab. Do you make a? Unless you're trying to make bombs as you go. Oh, but I usually find that it's more productive early on when you don't have the money to just blow on bombs. Wait, oh, no. Rude. We weren't supposed to do that. Very rude. We we're supposed to come over there so you could blow up. Right by there. Okay, that's a crab. I don't even care about crab cakes. At least not at the moment. There we go. Get us get us some shaft luck. Make our way down deeper into the mines. And that's the prismatic shard. Beautiful. Alright, so we can get our magic rock candy at the very least. However, we're still going deeper because we're going to try and farm some more shards. So if we can get some more, that'll make next week easier. Doing on oh yeah we probably do need to go for the double geodes I think we should be okay and with how many of these that we're gonna have to end up doing anyway yeah, maybe get another salad you can't solve all your problems with salad most of your school problems Cool cavern problems can be solved with salad. Beautiful. I have to admit, I do like the hard mode serpents that are like super big. It just looks so silly. Come on. I believe... I guess I didn't believe strong enough, because I didn't get the shard. But I still believe. It's even nicer when they move in like the... Oh! That's even better. An actual shard from an enemy. Now I'm a cowboy! Day just keeps looking up. Yeah, I think there's a couple of hats that we can get from here as well. Just not sure how many. I think uh, Sandy also s randomly sells shirts. Pretty much these remaining time before we actually finish perfection. 
Gonna be doing a lot of clothing shopping. Gonna be very much like Haley. Oh my god, there's a sale on shirts at the desert. Like, oh my god, I am so there. Jeez. That's a nice, that's a nice place. This is not a nice place. So as long as we get out of here by like midnight, and then buy the uh, one thing from... Uh, from the trader, then we're good. Give me that Omni Geode and also don't uh, like get swarmed by Iridium bats. interesting how little that you actually use the pickaxe once you actually get this far enough to where you can just bomb things. Mind you, I never got the hang of actually using explosive ammo. I can only imagine how much easier folks find it. Oh, that is some big luck. See any iridium? Oh, infested? It's not infested by me. Also one over here. Good about a whore. I'm always surprised when you see the big clumps of them over there. You just don't... You sometimes still don't expect things. You just get so used to seeing like one note at a time that when you see like 20 or so stacked together. It feels kind of weird. Oh, hey, welcome to this name. How are you doing today? We're just, uh... Trying to make more progress. We've got a lot of stuff at, uh, tackled in terms of the big stuff. We've got Pam's house taken care of. Among other things. We're just trying to, at this point, farm more prismatic shards. Which isn't exactly going that great. But we are making progress. We do have some prismatic shards. We got one from a mummy as well, so that makes things a little bit better off. And there's another. Beautiful. We're at five. We need to spend three, so if we can get another one miraculously in the last 40 minutes of our delve, that we could we would be able to, uh, not have to worry about this until next week. I 
I know, they do make a rather interesting noise. And that's the other thing, the Crusader enchant makes it so much more easy. Otherwise, I'd have to bomb them every time. holding out hope that there's... Shoot. He bit me right as I was jumping in. That shouldn't count. That's an illegal bite. Ref should definitely uh, penalize that serpent. Hey, welcome, Aurelia. Uh, we're actually at 99% perfection since we started. The uh, thing was, we uh, purchased the golden clock last time. So at this point, the only thing we're missing is the uh, last few cooking recipes. Oh, there's another prismatic shard. Okay, we can do this. We gotta just run through. Uh, so right now, we're just... We added some extra challenges just to make things more interesting and spicy and everything else. Uh, we're almost done with quite a few of them. Have you ever played Stardew Valley, um, Aurelia? It's a very nice, relaxing, calm uh, game. However, it is a pretty big time investment, so I guess it's one of those that... Depending on your uh, time and how much you have of it, it may not be the most ideal. Gotcha. It's a lot of fun. It's just that it does take up a lot of time. Goodness. We're trying to hoard magic rock candy, which is like the best uh, food in the game. It is... So it means we have to farm prismatic shards every week to get another one. We could never actually use it. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I can completely understand there. I feel that way about certain ones like that. Did you ever, um... You, did you grow up with, like, the Super Nintendo era of games? Did you ever play ones like Chrono Trigger or whatnot? I found I fell down the rabbit hole and I played Chrono Trigger again. And now I'm just like that's like quite a few hours of my life that have disappeared. Of course my nostalgia is happy to have played it, but we got more rain. It's endless rain and storms. Also, the spirits are happy. Oh, Super Mario RPG, I forgot about that one. I think it was that you it, what was it? That you use like Geno for the Geno boost? And that was like OP because of the attack boost. And then things like the lazy shell to make the princess ridiculously OP. It's been so long. There's things like that that I can kind of vaguely remember. Oh, it's time for kegs. That I can kind of vaguely remember. Oh, yeah. How much of original Nintendo do you uh, remember? There's quite a bit that I, I can more or less remember, but I'm still... There's times in which it's just, like, hazy. So I think the farthest back I can remember is Atari. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, 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 there was a lazy shell weapon, and that was for Mario, and there was lazy shell armor that reduced your attack, but made you, like, almost impossible to kill. So if you put that on the princess, uh, she was basically invincible. I think that's what it was, that it was... Th that then you just equip the one thing that where she can't be hurt by status effects, and you basically really couldn't lose unless you fought the bonus boss. Oh, the... Oh, was it the original uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle ones where you, like, have to disable the bombs in the dam? <laughs> my brother, my siblings and I were so bad at that. 
we did get past that, but I don't think we got past the level after that. I know, because of the uh, time frame. And then the it was the uh, seaweed that if it, you got close to it, it was instant death. It just pulled you down into a watery grave. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Oh my goodness. Good times. Yeah, that's why I've, I've uh, been having fun just kind of like... Uh, going down the Chrono Trigger uh, one. Because that was one of the really good RPGs for the uh, Super Nintendo. It was that in Final Fantasy VI that I particularly remember. I gotta play that again at some point, but I don't have the time right now. Dude, where did all my where did all my star fruit go? Oh, the lasers! Yeah, there the was like the electricity things that you had to swim through as well to disable the bombs. All I remember is that I could not get past the one after that. Okay, so we have to get a sturgeon as well. Eh, we don't really need the dish of the sea to catch a sturgeon, but I'm gonna do it just anyway. I'm trying to remember what other ones for the NES that were, like, memorable. Because, I mean, you probably played Mario's 1 through 3, right? I think, like, every kid played that. Oh, yeah, uh, Krobus is a roommate. You can, if you befriend Krobus and then give him a, a special pendant, he'll move in. And he's the only person that can be a roommate, rather than uh, Marion. I just took them as a roommate because they're, they have more requirements to get to in the first place. Oh yeah, I don't think I ever beat Mario 1. Then there was like Mario All-Stars for the Super Nintendo that had lost levels that's even worse. Definitely didn't beat that one. I mean, there's a lot of really good old games like that. I think it's like Zelda 1, Zelda 2 that were also a lot of fun. I actually got the, like, the Nintendo Switch Online thing just so that I could get uh, Zelda 1. Because every time I've tried to buy a cartridge, uh, I could never get it to work. And then I just get annoyed by that. Be like, I just want a working cartridge of Zelda 1. Wait, Mario Mystery 1? Is that the Mario is Missing 1? <laughs> I think I played a little bit of that, but I don't remember. Oh, Detective Mario? No, I'm not remembering a Detective Mario. I think it was Mario is Missing that it's like you play as Luigi and you do like some educational game stuff. Yeah, that was... My siblings and I did not uh, complete that one. I mean, the, the Zelda games were great. Uh, although Zelda 2 was a real pain. I think the only reason we finished Zelda 2 was because we actually... It, there were some guides available. Because that last dungeon in Zelda 2 is a nightmare to navigate. Oh, well, I mean, there's there's a lot of ones. A lot of those games were cryptic beyond all belief. Just ridiculously cryptic. Oh, Simon's Quest. Did you remember that one for the NES? Hey, you know, what a terrible night to have a curse. Oh, that's right. I think I remember... I stopped him briefly to... As I was at work, so I couldn't stay for very long, but I did see that you uh, did the uh, DLC for Cuphead. I th think I saw it when you were about to finish. Uh, so I think at the time you were discussing whether to do the Broken Relic for the Secret Boss or uh, Chef Saltbaker. Did you, were you able to finish everything with that? I 
like how how did you enjoy the DLC? Okay. Yeah, getting the curse broken on that is a real pain. I don't think the airplane levels count as well, because I did remember doing Hildeberg, but I don't think it actually counted when I beat her. Yeah, I guess that's the downside of the boss rush kind of aspect to it. Because if you know what you're doing, and you can get through it. And besides, if you, pl you, if you played Cuphead, then you kind of... You might forget a little bit at to start, but it's going to come back pretty fast. Like, I know that I died uh, for a little bit against Glumstone when I first started up the DLC, but that's because I hadn't played Cuphead in a while. I don't know, maybe it just didn't work uh, for me, or I didn't count how many ba battles I had done. Okay, what am I doing? I got the Oak Risen. I think it's the Sturgeon. I get these rubies. But I mean, I ha I I definitely enjoyed it. Oh, that's right. I think I remember seeing that you had played Cuphead then. Unfortunately, it had been a, a while for me. So my first few attempts were pretty rubbish. But it was really a blast. I didn't play Miss Chalice as much as I probably should have. I think it was just that I was used to Cuphead. Miss Chalice is pretty OP. <laughs> like, the few, once I finally started playing with her and seeing her moveset, that is so much more... It Definitely for, like, the King's Leap... That thing was designed for Miss uh, Chalice. Because the funny part is, like, on the Rook battle, you can just break that fight with Miss Chalice. Because every time you parry, you reset your double jump. So you can just stand, stay above, and just keep parrying the little heads as they come out while in the air, and just staying airborne for pretty much the entire fight. It is... It's funny to... If you... It's fun to watch if you if you uh, pull it off because you're like, oh, this is. It felt like uh, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, where you could reset your um, double jump with doing the sword swing. Okay, yeah. Good luck with the uh, the all the work that you're uh, tackling. All right, so we're just working on a sturgeon. This is the very last one for extra goal. To be able to get an iridium quality of every fish. We have been very lucky. Quite a few of these. I suppose with all these extra midnight carps, we could make more seafoam put in. Not that it really matters. Like, either we get the sturgeon now with the magic bait, or we wait until winter and then fish it up normally. Hmm. We still have, like, 60 attempts with, uh, Magic Bait. So we have enough Prismatic Shards to where we don't have to worry about next Thursday being able to meet the demands of our Magic Rock Candy addiction. So we just go... Ooh! That's an interesting one. That's probably a Link Cod. That's probably gonna get away. Yeah, I think this one's a Link Cod. It could be a sturgeon, but I'm pretty certain. Yeah, it's a link cut. I feel like we should probably just eat this just in case. This is the last fishing that we need to do anyway. Yeah, let's see. Once we get this done, we're done with that. We have some. We're gonna then play with Taylor in. Was that another link cut or? Could that be the mysterious sturgeon? That seems like a link cod. It's going around way too fast. It's also bullying me more hardcore than I would have thought. Okay, it's starting to take a chill pill. It was just luring me into a false sense of security. Chill pill averted. 
Yeah, I think this is another Ling code. I think those are the hardest ones for the lake. And this one definitely seems in that territory. But the sturgeon is still pretty difficult. But it doesn't feel as bad. Mm, okay, that one's... This one's an easy one. I think perch are winter only normally. We've got all our giant uh, stuff. We're going to be largely focusing on farming. Okay, I think we need... We need 15 more prismatic shards if we want to be able to buy magic rock candy from now until perfection. Without any kind of problems. And then... Hey, welcome! Uh, is it Kudurania? Apologies if I mispronounced that. It is a very fun game. We're pretty far in, uh, so there might be a bit of spoilery stuff with it. Uh, but it is a very calm, relaxing game. Basically, it's one of those games you play at your own pace. We're doing more of a challenge run with trying to get things done as quickly as possible. Uh, in fact, we've done things a little too well, so... We're almost done with the game in the sense to where once we get to a... The very last day of winter will be at full perfection. So we're kind of doing extra goals to kind of fill the void and also see how much gold we can make in the interim. But part of the fun of the game is that you can take it at your own pace. In fact, it's best to try and play blind for your first playthrough to just kind of take it easy and learn as you go. Make You know, you make the mistakes on that. It's a lot of fun. My biggest mistake being, I did not know how to feed my chickens for two in-game weeks. Peter was most displeased. But it wasn't intentional. It was trying to feed them. But I've never played any of the games like Harvest Moon that this was supposed to be based on. Have you, um... Did you uh, play any of them yourself? Oh, there's a sturgeon! We got it! That's the last fish. Our goal was to try and get a fish of every type that of the highest quality. So now that that's done, we can throw our iridium rod into the the fires of the volcano. Although probably not. We're gonna keep it for a while. <laughs> well, it's the downside of. Uh, Oh, you probably have to talk with the folks in the modern channel um, about that. Unfortunately, I know nothing about modern. I just play them. I have a lot of fun playing them. But, uh... If you're, like, on the uh, Hollow Knight Discord, there's definitely a modern channel. And they would be able to give you much more information about it than I could. And there we are. All the fish. All of them at iridium quality. And we have both sets of legendary fish. That one is done. No, 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 no. I don't create any of the bosses. I just play them. I try... I make sure that I put in the very beginning as to who made them, because I don't want there to be any confusion. We got the giant pumpkin, we got the giant cauliflower, we got the giant melon. It's all set and done. Well then, what are we doing today? <laughs> with the, What are we doing with ourselves, with our lives? We're already best friends with everyone. Jeez. Hey, get all this honey. Oh, gotcha. I got in the Stardew just because folks had suggested it. 
and then I played it and I got addicted to it. My first playthrough was just me playing pretty consistently. Oh, I love the new Cuphead DLC. That was a lot of fun. I like the additional challenge. It did take. I did get um, my butt kicked quite a bit at the very start when I was playing, because uh, I hadn't played Cuphead in a while, so <laughs> I got roughed up for a bit. And then it came back, and I started doing better. But I love the designs. I love how they've um, added new stuff in there, like the Howlin' Aces with the. Uh, Thing with the, you know, twist in the field to um, throw you off. I'm bad at that kind of stuff, especially with like Hollow Twitch where it inverts the camera. But it's still fun to uh, see that kind of stuff and learn how to deal with it. Were you able to finish it uh, yourself? Nice. I think the only thing about Stardew Valley that I'm going to be less interested in doing is uh, the Prairie King uh, video game. Especially for Fector's Challenge. I suppose I'm masochistic enough to try it, but I'm going to probably be like, oh man. I tried a little bit of it. I can tell I'm going to need a lot of practice. It's not I'm it's going to be like worse than Abigail. Be like, "I'm so I'm so terrible at this. Can you help me?" Be like, "No, Abigail. I'm even worse." But I'm not going to do that on stream. Same thing with Junimo Kart. Those kind of things are better off just done learning on yourself on your own. Especially because they freeze time, so there's... You can take as much time to do it as you want. Oh, okay. I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. I mean, the hard part... Is finding the control scheme that works for you. I don't think Cuphead is one that I would play with a mouse myself, but if you're able to pull it off, I mean, I gotta say, props to you. Most of the time I use the control scheme that I use with like Hollow Knight, to where I use like X, C, uh, Z. Oh, those are like that silver quality. I guess that's because as a tree grows, you get to get better ones of that. Okay, what are we doing for today? We've already looted those. Don't think that we have anything in the in the um, tunnel. Oh, you move, shoot into right trigger. Oh, I did like uh, I did for Cuphead. I did Z for jump, X to shoot, and then. Uh, C for dash. And I use shift for lock on. Because I use the convergence um, gun uh, quite a few times. Although when I did the normal bosses, I did it with only the pea shooter, which I kind of regretted. And then by the time I was going to do expert, I'm like, I'm not going to do pea shooter. That's going to be... Uh, that's already going to be... Uh, Robin, why are you just like lurking in the woods? Hitting a random cliff. I'm making shortcuts. I think the thing that kind of threw me off is periodically if I was trying to, uh, you know, lock, use the lock button to uh, aim, especially because of how it works with convergence that narrows the spread, it would sometimes uh, mess up trying to do other things. So it's getting late. I 
like how we just have forgotten about these wood shippers. We're just at the point where it's like, screw it, we're just going to buy the wood from Robin. Oh, okay, so you played Cuphead on the Switch. Yeah. I'm so used to PC that it's just... There's sometimes where they put the control schemes where it's like using the mouse that I can get used to it. Suppose if it's one where you need the mouse to like aim stuff, then I'll adjust to it. But it's ones to where if I don't need to use the mouse, I generally just prefer to use it in the uh, same same way between things. I think it was one, um, let's see, what was the game? It was uh, Agalos, where I had to use something like J, K, L uh, for attack and everything. And that just kept throwing me off throughout the entire game. And I couldn't change the control schemes to anything else. So it just, it bothered me throughout the entire game. Ah, oh, gotcha. Yeah, it's always different. It's different for everyone. So on. So that's the thing. How I do it, it may not be the best for you. And likewise, it, it vice versa. It's always whatever's most comfortable. I mean, the worst case is that we're just like, how could you play a game like that? And, like, gawking and all that kind of stuff. Beautiful. Maybe we if we actually have some uh, ancient fruit left. Okay, so the answer is no, we don't. We have all of our ancient fruit brewing into wine. We can, uh... Get that going right now. Oh, yeah. I don't know, when I played... When I played the Hollow Knight on the Switch, I just couldn't get used to the controller as well. I only really use a controller necessary. Although some of it is also just because of stubbornness. I had a uh, one friend who said, who pointed out that you should play use controller for Dark Souls, and he actually gifted me a controller for Christmas. And I just was like, no, I'm gonna play with keyboard all the way. So it just became a running joke. Oh, that's right. Are you? Didn't I don't know if I saw whether or not. Did you reach the goal to play uh, Dark Souls, uh, Relia? Will you be taking the rule of the Chosen Undead? As if so, you, you'll probably have a good bit of fun. Dark Souls can be a bit frustrating. Oh, nice! Well, you'll have... It can be frustrating, but I'm I'm sure you'll get the hang. The thing is, just never get frustrated with it. I think it was more with Elden Ring that I did a lot worse with it. <laughs> oh, buy spaghetti? Wait, why do we need spaghetti? Is it to pacify the lurking Robin in the distance? So she might be done with those shortcuts now. Oh yeah, see? Not that I can use it because of those kegs there. Oh jeez. I'm not sure if blocking the uh the bus road out of Stardew Valley with kegs of alcohol is supposed to be some sort of metaphor. You can't escape your alcoholic life or something. But, uh, I'm pretty sure Pam is skilled enough to drive out of here. She'd be all like, I can't destroy any of these kegs. We just gotta go around them. <laughs> Buy pasta because it's funny? 
Yeah, I definitely need to... Oh, gotcha. I think the one benefit of live streaming is that you'll probably have... Well, that depends on how much you want folks to actually uh, give you advice or, you know... If you're wanting to try and do things blind, then probably doing it by uh, as a video series instead of uh, live streams is probably better. Because I had played Dark Souls 1 through 3 before I had streamed them. Like, years ago. I think it was like two or three years before. So I did remember still quite a few things. And with Dark Souls 1, I had actually played it on the Switch. I want to say half a year to a year prior. So there was quite a bit of things that I knew about. But, uh, depend on how much you want folks to tell you secrets, because there are a lot of secrets in Dark Souls. That probably should uh, influence things. Although, alternatively, if you livestream, uh, just... You might... There's... You're gonna die, either way, a lot. So... <laughs> Believe me, I died quite a bit, and even knowing what to do with certain spots. But it's a good bit of fun. Oh no, I haven't filled it in their houses. I still have plenty of stuff on my own property. Oh, gotcha. Well, hopefully it all works out. But yeah, if you do get the, uh, if you do make it through the uh, trilogy and or try uh, Elden Ring, hopefully you have fun with it. Oh, did you ever see the uh, game Will You Snail, Relia? It's a uh, rage platformer that is, uh, oh, nice. Yeah, I, I, getting a laptop to work on videos was one of the best choices that I ever made in terms of any of the YouTube stuff. Yeah, it's called Will You Snail. It's a rage platformer, I uh, think like Portal 2 kind of evil AI that makes fun of you as you uh, play and uh, mess up. It, ha it has adjustable difficulties and such, like the AI, if you have the auto-adjust difficulty on, the AI will set the um, difficulty lower as you mess up or up it as you do better. Or you can turn that off and just set it to whichever difficulty you like. But part of the fun is the uh, snarkiness of it making fun of you. That flippin' mountain? I think I vaguely know which one that one is. I think I saw something about that. I think I'm trying to get back into Holiday first and foremost. I'm trying to do some more modded bosses. Maybe do, uh... Try to seriously push Hitless P5. And maybe one day get that. Just so much to do. That's the problem. I I am very bad at mention time. Not to mention, there's like point-and-click adventure games that I want to get to as well. There's also Stray that's coming out this month. Which looks really fun. Anything where you get to play as a cat. If I don't get to paw things off of a table, I'm going to be very disappointed with Stray. Hey, it definitely is challenging, but the fact that uh, quite a number of people have done it at this point, I think it's lost kind of the, uh, you know, if you're trying to view it as like a competition. Me, I'm just trying to see if I can do it. I think the answer is yes, if, you know, you put in the time. I don't know as for myself as to how much time that's going to be. 
Because I think my problem is I start practicing with it through streams and so forth, and then I, something else comes up, and then I get rusty. And then before I know it, I'm back at square one. I've got to not do that. I think Stray is on PC. I'm not 100% sure. Actually, I think it is on... I'm, I think I'm like 99% sure, because I don't think I'd be playing it if it wasn't on PC, so... I'd say 99.9% .9 sure. Unless I'm building up my, my hopes, like, uh, you know, the entire thing where I can't play Bloodborne because I don't have a PS4 or PS5. Okay, good. Now, now I can feel, I can feel validated. Thank you, uh, Kudarania. Oh god, I should probably see if I have enough hay in my silos. My animals will revolt animal farm style. Okay, I have like half of the silo filled. Better go and talk to Mani. To know that I want more hay. Yes. Oh. I guess she just wanted a little bit of attention as she passed through. That's right, it is on Steam. So you see, 99.9%. Okay, so Monty's off doing something else. Probably getting drunk with Lewis. I think the plan's gonna be we'll start figuring out decoration next stream well, what we might do is uh, actually we need copper if we go into make more kegs even though we have a lot of kegs there we're still not done we need more kegs we need to flood the it's basically like the shining with the uh, the blood that gets off of the elevator only in our case that's just red wine. Let's smelt all this copper. The good thing is copper doesn't take long to smelt, so we don't have... We can just kind of stand around. Maybe we should probably go down and... Do something while we're waiting. You know, 440, 41... Back in the good old days when we would just have to farm this. Why aren't we having our speed buffs? Oh, Radiant Hollow Gods? Yeah, that is challenging. I mean, if you're able to beat them on Radiant, then that's impressive. I mean, the other thing to keep in mind is this. Those are still challenging things to do. And don't let anyone diminish your accomplishments, or so forth. Have you beaten Radiance Nightmare King Grim? That's definitely impressive. If you're willing to... If you're able to put in the time and beat something, that would be challenging to you. Like, you don't have to do Pantheon 5 all binds, like, while bungee jumping from a helicopter, blindfolded, while riding a horse over an inactive volcano. Yeah, just do something that you feel is enjoyable and fun. If you don't find that the bosses are enjoyable or fun, there's always other stuff. Although hopefully uh, we won't be hearing of like high-end gamers doing the bungee jumping while doing Hitless B5. We almost have not Actually, we do have enough. So the thing that's uh, holding us back now is wood. Just gonna have to buy that from Robin.
I think the problem is that people want to compare people to others, and then they get the entire thing where it's like, if you if you can't do X, then you're bad, and so forth. It, it's a terrible way to think about things, rather than just simply enjoying the game and taking pride in the things that you've done. Yeah, because I mean, it all could, if you're able to, uh, you know, keep practicing until you finally get something, there's a sense of thrill in being able to finally get it. I mean, there's plenty of things that I've done that, you know, that sense of uh, thrill in actually having it all come together and completing it is one of the best parts of uh, playing a game, doing any sort of challenge. That was the same thing with just, like, playing Cuphead DLC, just learning how to do that with the uh, S-Rings. Those were a lot of fun. Uh, let's see, we need Maru Sunday, so we want to bring... keep a few diamonds. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, there's... With folks like that, you just gotta, like, tune it out. Like, sometimes... Like, a lot of the stuff that I've, uh... I enjoy challenges, but I also like just doing things where it's, like, calm, relaxed, like... walking sim kind of stuff like that. Whether it was, like, uh, playing point-and-click adventure games. And I get stumped on the puzzles. <laughs> With uh, the one that I played recently, Voodoo Detective, I got stumped in two different locations. And I, uh, I didn't finish Encodia because I got stumped with it. But also I think it was because Elden Ring came out. Otherwise I probably would have tried to give it more of a chance. Which is a shame, I really love those kind of games. But I also like games like uh, To the Moon, Rakuen, and then playing like a story beside. That one was a really lovely uh, narrative game. We don't need coral. Just, just sell off all the coral. I don't even know what I'm doing this day. It was that I was trying to come in here and see if any of the wine was ready. I mean, sometimes it's just fun to play those kind of games and relax. So we're going to get 34 staircases from that. We need to find some good wallpaper. Being said, I don't even know what I will want in a decoration. It's really kind of weird. Some of these games I can kind of get really into the decorating part. And other times I'm just very uh, apathetic about it. I think this is one of those ones in which I'm kind of more on the apathetic side. Although if you see the folks that actually do a lot of decorating portion of it, it's really impressive to see what they do. See, that looks kind of nice. Maybe... There we are. Let's see, give it a nice little... One over. And we're not going to have the Jojo one. Even if it does have cool, refreshing Jojo Cola. I'm not sure as to what I would actually want on these. Oh, yeah. I imagine the that um, that both Puppy and Johnny would have some really impressive looking farms. I've seen some videos with folks that did some really impressive farms. Like, it's really nice to see what people come up with. I think I, that's why I enjoy doing the base building with Subnautica. You don't get too detailed with stuff. Most of it is just building the base. Oh yeah, like, when I first played Cuphead back in 2017, I struggled quite a bit with playing the game. 
I didn't do expert mode because I didn't think I'd be able to do expert mode, let alone hitless. <laughs> and I mean, things have kind of changed. We're like practicing. I find that I can do that at least a little bit better. But, I mean, it's still a lot of practicing. Ooh, I've got a decorative trash can. I'm going to put that outside. Hey, Lewis, take out the trash. There we go. Don't I have a mini... A mini, um... What is it? A mini tailor thing? Sewing machine? I want to say I do. This would be good if I did, because then I would be able to start making stuff. Alright, that's clothes. We should put our clothes in our dresser. I'm... Let's just say I grew up with the Nintendo system. So, I mean, I'm kind of... Oh, there's our sewing machine. Beautiful. So you could probably get a gauge as to about how old I am. I'm definitely on the oldest side. I think I have some more stuff. I've got the skeletal hand. Now if I have a second one, I can clap them together. Got baggy pants. Geode Crusher. What if you... Oh, we have magic bait there. There we go. Alright, so what we need to start doing is making some clothes. This is going to be the interesting part. We have so many clothes to make. The amount of clothes you can make in this game is very impressive. Emphasis on impressive. My poor dresser is going to be filled to the brim. If our luck is reasonably good, we're also going to do Skull Caverns tomorrow. Oh, hey, welcome, uh, Tatsuya. Welcome, as we get, try and continue to figure out... As we stumble around in the dock to try and figure out more things. Okay, clay. That wing. I think one of the things was a dandelion. Got a prehistoric skull. Somewhere. At least we have blobfish. Jeez. Let's just put those boots in there. I thought I had a prehistoric skull. Going off of what my notes say. Oh, hey, welcome, Rhapsody. Hopefully your, your morning is going well. We've got most of these things done now. Beautiful. we got a blobfish mask. Okay, so I guess the question mark one just denotes anything that we haven't made yet. Ooh, make some salad. Make some salad sh shirts. Make one with a bomb. But I'm just fooling around. Okay, so we... What's a spicy eel make? Yeah, I definitely recommend the game. The thing is, don't fret too much. 
if you feel like you're not making a lot of progress, a lot of it is just kind of relaxing and playing the game and just having fun with it. We're just trying to get, like, more of a closed person than Haley. Oh my god. And now we have a dresser to store everything. It's gonna be... This poor dresser. It's gonna be filled to the brim. Oh, there's a lot of great sounds. I think one of the things that I particularly like is all the uh, sounds that happen when you're just making... What is it? When you're just making stuff with uh, harvesting a lot of crops at once. A slime. I remember one is made with a field snack. What does a radioactive bomb make? Probably a nice trip to the morgue. Yeah, blueberry ASMR. All about the blueberry ASMR. Uh, technically, if all we wanted to do was just sleep and get the recipes as we needed, um, we'd have full perfection. The thing is, we're kind of just doing extra stuff. Just so that we can try and see what kind of extra things we can do in there. Plus, we're trying to see how much money we can make between now and the end of the game. Ooh, floppy beanie, but we've already learned how to make that. So, I mean, most of this is now more kicked back and relaxed as we make progress. Yeah, I've never really bothered to tailor. I guess that that's just the entire thing. Like, I mean, considering that you see that I never really put any... I don't change the default stuff for my character. I guess that's probably why. But I've never had much of an interest in it. But still, it's nice to see stuff that you can do with it. We're trying to just get whatever extra goodies that we can do. We try it with radioactive ore, uh, bug meat, battery pack, uh, stone, fiber. We did a bat wing, so we could probably do a bone fragment. Our part is just, I don't know what actually combines into what. And we do need about a little over 700 Omni Geos to make everything. Well, to buy everything from the Desert Trader. Oh, we get a sparkly shirt. It kind of is like the Mr. Keys shirt. Just sow some seaweed in. <laughs> Jeez, it doesn't look very good. But yes, there's only a few. <laughs> yeah, you definitely don't want to put a bomb in a sewing machine. Unless you're like an assassin or something. Even then, you probably shouldn't do that. Turtleneck sweater from radioactive ore. Omni shirt. It's speckled with rainbow flecks. It looks like you just washed up on the beach. Smells like it, too. Oh. Yeah, this one's pretty fun. Just fooling around with it. 
I'm not sure if like the distinct Ah, Kudurania, thank you for the sub. Not sure if there's distinct things with that. I think we did algae. Oh, I wonder if these are the frozen tear. Broken glasses. Oh, I think the dino egg does something as well. Because yeah, I think dinos the dino one must be with like Dina's I know outfit. I'm glad for all of the uh, immense amounts of cloth that I've gotten from the uh, Skull Caverns at this point. Because I don't know how I would be affording to do all this otherwise. Alright, you have a great night. Thanks for stopping by. Good luck with your run. Ah, uh, goodness. Use this rusty spur. Everybody knows using some rusty uh, metal objects you found on the ground with cloth is a really good idea. Oh, so that, that's how you got that mask. That's not like the full outfit. Yeah, so we're just trying to... Oh, we've got a nice little... Nice little thing there. Got the little melon pants. I think I've already done that one. Yeah, we're going to be making a lot of, of this. Let's try this out. At some point. It's not even so that we can wear these. It's just to complete our clothing challenge. So we can be like, take a hike, Haley. I've got the true fashion power. We've also got all the shortcuts uh, done. So we have all of this stuff that we need with um... Ooh, Queen of Sauce. Blackberry Cobbler. Why can't it be crab cakes? Ooh, spirits are happy. We're going to Skull Cavern. Blackberry Cobbler. Oh, shoot, why did I do it with key seasoning? I guess because it must have been in there, then that's why. That's unfortunate. All right, we just... Just need to make our way over there. Where am I going? Okay, so then, let's go caverns for today. We should then catch up on a lot of the other stuff. Because that'll be our day to catch up before the uh, fair. If we're even going to go and do that, I mean, there's really no reason. I don't know if I got the fedora, so I guess there is a reason. How can I tip my hat and go like, milady? I don't go in with a fedora. So we've gotten all the iridium quality fish. So that one's out of the way. We've gotten all the giant, uh, all the giant crops. 
So that is also out of the way. Along with all the shortcuts, uh, Pam has a house. Yeah, we're just we're just kind of uh, doing our thing. Oh, I wonder if the rusty cog gives me something different from the rusty spur. Mummies, quick! I need you to help with my tailoring empire. I don't think you could actually tip your hat in the game. But it's still fun to be able to be like, oh yeah, we all... I think we... didn't we all try to get like fedoras when we did multiplayer with the Stardew Valley Fair? I think we tried to. Or at least that was the goal. Ooh, purple slime eggs. The occasional time in which we actually get slime eggs is, I feel like, has justified the slime hutch. Even though it stands empty, barren wasteland, never to be filled with anything. Definitely not slimes. Yeah, we're probably going to go for... We're trying not to stay up super, super late. Although I generally can be coached into playing more Stardew Valley pretty easily. I think I'm probably going to stay up until like 1am my time. Maybe slightly after that. But not too much later than that. I know I've sometimes been going for, uh, till 2am. Right, a nice little shaft. Have some salad to fix our broken legs. I think that means probably like three days game time. We are fortunately at that point where we really don't need to do key gems anymore. I guess with decorating it's going to be kind of like iffy because some of the stuff looks a lot prettier in the spring and summer or fall. I feel like by the time we get a consistent style, it's going to be winter. And that cold, barren wasteland is... You know, unless we really have, like, the, uh... Doom Farm murder aesthetic. I don't think that we're going to really be able to rock... Um, rock it. As well as we could. Yeah, it's a little after midnight here overrun with monsters. And we are skipping that. The uh, floor is 17. Yeah, we just named it Doom Farm. I think it was that we just wanted to have something silly for the name. There's also the part where you give some eggs to people, and then they'll say your farm name, Eggs. So it is kind of funny for them to go like, the person to go like, mmm, Doom Eggs. When you make your farm, you get to decide on the name of the farm, um, your favorite thing, which is what you think of every time you find a star drop. Which increases your max energy. So... I forget what my uh, thing was. I think it was challenges. But it was because I couldn't... There wasn't enough spaces to put Impending Doom. And so if I'm Doom Farm, I want the thing that I think about to be Impending Doom. Alas. The true thing to fight against was the spaces in your name.
the nice thing about this place is that unlike the uh, mines where you can have the elevators this one's a fresh run at each time the lower you go the more stuff you can get so it's good to come here early in the day and just try and see how much you can clear once you get this place available you can make a lot of goodies Just, you have to get the hang of it. While we're using a lot of bombs, you usually don't have the means to just blow up everything first time through. So you have to use your pickaxe a lot more. Which is unfortunate. The main thing is iridium. A little purple nodes. Because that's what we're actually here for. We're trying to blow them up because there's a 4% chance that they give us a prismatic shard. And we want the shards for our magic rock candy. We need three for every rock candy. So, ooh, a freebie. You, the first time you get down to floor 100, at least after you get a note to go down there, you will uh, get a special cutscene. Ooh, an auto grabber. Yeah, get lost, sap. Oh, I can't. I don't actually get any money for trying to throw out an auto grabber. Oh no. Instead of Marty Cotton, charges 25k. I feel like I should get a portion of that back. Okay, so we're up to almost 25 million total earnings. I wonder how much we'll actually reach by the end of the run. But I think 35 million should definitely be doable. Might even be 40 million. Especially depending on how many extra kegs I can make. You know, the kegs I should be making today. It was just like, I'm doing school caverns, forget about it. Oh, you got... Oh, that is unfortunate, Repsody. That's usually the worst part. That's but Until you get all the scrolls and then you don't need them. And then every time you see a scroll, you're just like, why? So I think I'm in that phase now. Every time I see a scroll, I'm just like... I don't need you, I've already got like five of you. Sitting in my bank. Well, not my bank, but my, uh, my treasure chest. Look there. I think the thing that still surprises me is how much iridium ore I've got at this point. Just from running this so many times. Jump down the pit. Of course you want to break your legs. There's nothing to regret. Oh, this one's going to be kind of bad. Don't mind me, just regretting all my life choices. Get this.
I know. <laughs> There's so many things that we're just messing with you at times. The RNG. I think the thing that kind of surprised me was how it um, is that like uh, your your geodes pr are preset based upon what you smash next. Learning that was just like, oh man, to where I just you can't really smash the things just like with no rhyme or reason. Come on, give me a ladder. Oh, they gave me a ladder. I just didn't want to use it. Maybe I was too good for that ladder. Okay, you have a great night, I, uh, Aurelia. Thanks for stopping by. And good luck. I guess we have to have that thing where, you know, we got the luck with some of the shards, and now this has to be like that bad luck kind of run to even out things. I mean, that's... Sometimes it's just how it is. And this is just that run. Ah, oh, jeez, we get a rabbit's foot right then and there. Ah, uh, let's see. Cave Carrot, you can take a hike. Hmm, this is not a good place. Also, for all the... All of it being a very lucky day. Seems to not be making a huge amount of progress. Well, I think that's more of a me issue than... ...than anything. It could be that it's late and I'm just... ...not as into it. Because I know that I get worse at this as the night wears on. <laughs> I'm just all like, I want to make progress. Oh, okay. Uh, you have a great night. Uh, this name. Thanks for stopping by. I see those iridium nodes. Of course, I don't see those prismatic shots. Hmm. But yeah, I think that we're gonna try and... There's a couple of other things. There's one more Cuphead video that I've got. Kind of just fooled around with. Oh, Hailfire, thank you for the sub. And then I think I'm... I should be done. Cuphead. I th there's also a couple of other games that... I'll probably be uploading on. I really like Chrono Trigger that... Compiling a few things for that. But I do want to go back and... I'm trying to go back on my own to see if... Um, it's like Voodoo Detective if there were like alternate ending stuff. Especially because we did see that um, we could choose not to resurrect Mary. So I'm kind of curious as to how that plays out differently. So unless I'm very bad, I should hopefully be getting some more uh, variety of stuff. Because I apologize if I like spammed folks's uh, things for subscriptions with the uh, Cuphead. It was not the plan to, like, do a 
bunch of things. But nonetheless, that has been a, a lot of fun. I guess I, I was just really looking forward to it. Okay, uh, what are we doing? I wonder if we can make anything with the life elixirs. So that gives us our speed buffs back. Yeah, this is the uh, bad luck run. <laughs> I'm pretty sure something's gonna... That's a crab. I'm sure something will change. We usually have it to where there's like something that goes decently well. And of course, the, the night's not over yet. It's only mostly over. Oh. Better pay attention. Thank you, Iridium Bat. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, that is unfortunate. Well, even so, I try not to spam people's stuff. Not that I usually upload, like, multiple things a day in the first place. I guess with ones, with some of the new releases that might be expected. Still, I think I'm at the end. Oh, come on. <laughs> that was like within the bounds. Oh, that's why. A freebie. Well, true, but. Try not to. I, I still try not to I like spam things. Will red in said wave with a new game. That can be awfully rude. Okay, there's definitely a crab over here. Looks like one of those is legit. Oh, both of them are legit. Huh. even get that uh there i was hoping to kill them off right and get my uh delightful iridium yeah this is one news on the more unlucky side I'm kind of surprised. But oh well. Sometimes you just have that bad luck. And it's only 1 a.m. We can do this. We can get a prismatic shard. I believe. I just gotta believe. Just gonna let Harvey drink us. Yeah. 
Oh, I know how this is gonna work. We're going to... I was gonna say, well, what's gonna happen is we're gonna pass out as we see the prismatic shard, and then we're just not going to have... It's just not gonna come to us. Alright, so that gets us... We didn't get any prismatic shards from it, but hey. It was worth a try. Oh, my Grange display. I don't even... Uh, I'm just gonna use all trash, Krubus. Yeah, please try not to be rude in chat. I may not be... I may not have seen what was said, but... You know, generally under the don't be a uh, dick kind of rule. Hmm. Okay, there's our cloth. Not actually sure what we're going to put in those. Oh, why are we putting cloth? <laughs> we're putting cloth in our cloth so that we can uh, do things. Okay, so a life elixir can be used for stuff. Okay, so it's just with different colors. I wonder if it's just that the design is different. Uh, no. We got Robus as a roommate. That's the most that you can uh, do. And you have to be maxed out with friendship, and then you can't uh, marry anyone else. So it more or less takes the uh, place of marriage. Although you're just roommates, you're very good friends. So what we'll probably do is, after the, uh, fair, that is probably where I'll end. Mostly as... I admit, I'm kind of losing steam. Just slightly. And at that point, it's probably a good idea. So many truffles. Truffle Mafia, you're doing too well. That's right, I do need to get a bunch of hay. No, nah, I'm just gonna eyeball it. Like, I have a lot of up in my uh, farm anyway, so it's not like it's not like I can't find something to bring there. Wow, the judges. We should probably check um, Island Farm. But yeah, I think after the uh, 16th is probably a good stopping point.
We'll also check the key quests as well. The good thing is we got got quite a few of these extra goals done as well. I guess the only other thing to do is buy like the return scepter from money perspective. I guess that's just if we want to. Uh, we really don't even need to because we have so many, so many extra uh, warp totems. Hey, welcome, Sam Hero. Hopefully, you're having a wonderful night. We are just kind of trying to go through the last few days before we end. Which is mostly going to be just doing like the uh, Stardew Valley fair. We're playing Stardew Valley. Just kind of kicking back and relaxing as we go on the road to perfection. And hopefully... Okay, you have a great night, Jack Nita. I know that I get, will be joining... You know, go also going to sleep soon. I think after this day and then the fair tomorrow and then that's where we're going to stop. No, 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 we're, we're going... It should be, like, another, like, half hour before we, uh, stop, uh, Sam. It's just that we're getting... The days are usually about 20 minutes long. The pair will be, uh, shorter, but, um... But while I say that we're gonna be ending soon, it's not exactly, like, in the next five minutes. Oh, well, which, whichever. I just want to uh, make it seem like I was uh, stopping in the immediate sense. Oh, no worries. Besides, with Stardew Valley, it's much more of a uh, relaxed, play at your own pace kind of game. We're doing... we're basically getting the entire town hooked on wine so that we can make our big money. Which we've basically done at this point. So we're kind of in the end game as well, since the only thing left is to, well, we're gonna need more seeds, uh, to basically just wait until the very last parts for the last few cooking recipes that we need. But we're just kind of doing like extra uh, challenges and goals to just try and fill that time and void. So we'll check and see what Mr. Key has for us this week. We had Danger in the Deep again last week, so I didn't want to do that yet again. <laughs> no! I'm not doing four Prismatic Shards. I've already got so many. We're going to do the harder Skull Cavern. That one really isn't that bad. Now that I think about it. Okay, we're going to the desert. Buy ourselves some more starfruit seeds. It's hard to believe that winter's pretty close. We have half of the um, season done already. Oh, they're just for fun, uh, Rhapsody. Oh, that's right. It's her birthday. Forgot that Emily visits on her birthday. Also, it's to help kind of kill some time between now and then. Because, I mean, we could always just keep sleeping until Sunday, cook the next recipe, and then, you know, do that and then end the game. I kind of want to play it out and see what happens. Because again, I'm kind of curious as to how much stuff we can get done before then, having already gotten all perfection out of the way. I think it's probably going to be like three more streams, and then we should be able to finish out um, Stardew Valley. Single player, that is. At least I'm pretty confident in that. Oh, who's calling me now? Hey, Cranky. 
Just wanted to check up on you and see if Doom Farm is doing well. Lewis, we're in our second year. You could have asked me at any point. How's everything going? I know your secret, Lewis. <laughs> I mean, I know because I've caught him in the bushes. Yeah, we're going with that. I know your secret, Lewis. What's that? I think the line cut out. I can't hear a thing. All right, well, I guess I'll hang up then. Bye. <laughs> oh, jeez. At least he's still at 10 hearts, so he's not going to decay. <laughs> I know all his secrets. Nice try, Lewis. Okay, so truffles were needed for an item. Dark bandana shirt. 80s shirt. Poor Lewis. The secret's gonna get out. There we are. I'm learning tailing with all this random stuff I found on the ground. Actually. Yeah, if there's one thing we should do, it's at least open up this area. After all, I paid good money to get these shortcuts. I should actually use them. Uh, no, the arcade games don't. And because they freeze time, I really don't intend to do those on stream. Welcome to our fashion show with our new 80s t-shirt. Try them out, or else. Yeah, something like that, I suppose. Oh, hey, welcome, Brahma Rama. Just, uh... Working on all our stuff. We've got the, uh, fish uh, stuff out of the way. And so now we're just... I use Mega Bomb? Yeah, I did. Bomb have the same? It does. I do a Diamond. Yeah. I do a Ruby. Did I do a Diamond? So we're kind of just uh, going through things. I think the decoration and flows is going to be our basically our next major thing. Very carefully, Bandasonic. Do not question the ways of tailoring, for it is an intricate and mysterious profession. And that's the thing, you're just not ready to learn the secrets of Stardew Valley tailoring. No one could be ready. Oh, we can bring that back. Yeah, we should probably bring back uh, quite a few of these things. Let's see what else we can craft with. Okay, so we have the crystal fruit. We'll bring back a dwarf scroll. Hmm. But yeah. <laughs> I have no idea, to be honest. It's a very mysterious way. I'm pretty sure that it's somehow related to Emily doing some hardcore drugs. Very hardcore drugs. 
think I actually have that one already. That's okay, I don't need the skeletal hand anyway. I'm glad there's no tailor in achievements. Otherwise this might be a while. She does. She does have a dance sequence that makes you wonder what she put in your drink. Alright, so we do have a pretty decent... This is starting to get pretty established. The downside is there's still so much else that we have to make. Alright, let's see. Let's do small egg, big egg, uh, duck feather, rabbit's foot. Oh, that's right, we should probably... Probably do need mayonnaise. Oh, I wonder what happens if you use wool with the cloth. I put some cloth in your cloth. I have so many truffles. The only good thing is winter will mean that I won't have to worry about truffle mafia. I suppose if I was really just interested in the money making, I would just sell off the pigs at that point. I really don't want to. Too established now. Okay. Small milk. Big milk. Small. Big. Spaghetti. I think I have cheese in the basement. Normal cheese, not the goat cheese. But it's the extra good kind. That's why we're going to sew it into our uh, clothing. Make the best kind of stuff ever. Oh, of our rings. We have a um, burglar ring and an iridium um, ring. And then we have a napalm ring and the... Um, the one that gives a speed burst, the Savage Ring. So that that way, we had a pretty decent combo. There we go. We've made the most beautiful shirt from a plate of spaghetti. Those look like they're the same. Yeah, there's quite a few of these. If you really keep up with the animal products, I can make you some pretty good money. The only thing is... Sometimes you're just kind of pressed for time, and you have to make some decisions. You have to make difficult choices. I think it's just that I just wasn't good enough to keep up with all of it. But I mean, I've done reasonably well. And I got all the money stuff done, so I can't really say that I've uh, failed. That is, yeah, it does make sense. I wonder. Can I put a cloth on a cloth? Oh, I can't put cloth on a cloth. Make double cloth. We got like the cat. That shirt. Well, now I'm genuinely curious as to have some of these. Fruit salad, ginger. Uh, let's see, mussels, tomatoes, shrimp, some corn, the crab shirt. Ooh, garlic.
Just kind of trying whatever. Goodness, this is so much cloth needed for all this. It's a good thing that I killed a lot of mummies. Otherwise, I don't think I would have been able to do this. Apologies if this is the, uh, if the hot tailor in fashion line is not as intriguing. Admittedly. Oh, hey, we got another thing like that. Oh, we should probably also check out the uh, hat uh, critter mouse person thingy. Okay, sailor shirts. That's a gray one. I guess you can, once you make the actual style, you can just decide whether you want to dye it or not. Yeah, we'll be able to get more of these next day. It's going to get even worse when I try and uh, decorate. I'm going to be like second guessing everything. I'm not good at decorating these places. Hmm. Uh, even so. Gotta make it. You gotta try and keep it a little bit entertaining. Rather than. Like, so everything, one little thing at a time. Alright, we're going to the hat mouse. Because after all, we need to see what kind of ha uh, hats we can purchase. Never actually bothered to come down here. At least to actually buy hats. Ooh. Good old cat. Lucky bow. Cool cap. Ooh, a bowler hat. Sombrero. Cowboy hat. Butterfly bow. Mouse ears. Cat ears. Tiara. I can be a princess. Santa hat. Ear muffs. Delicate bow. Okay, we still have a lot more to get. Why am I doing that? I can just do this. Maybe put up the uh, ancient fruit. And by put up the ancient fruit, I mean sew it into something. Wait, I already have those. Never mind. I don't know how all this fits into these dressers, but I make it work somehow. Eventually, you just gotta, like, keep pushing until it slams shut. Hmm. Oh, hey, welcome, Red. We're lo slowly running out of steam. Got that entire thing where it's like the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Mostly because it's like 1 a.m. here. Actually, might end after this day, and then continue with the fair next Wednesday, just so that I'm more alert. Where I'm just not like doing the ball throwing one slingshot game, and being all like, I have to just uh, barely awake while throwing that. Slingshot stuff. Oh, I got a trucker hat. Official cap. An eye patch. Blue bonnet. Chicken. 
Wait, didn't I get a sailor's cap from doing... Like, I know the straw hat is one that I've got. But I think the sailor cap is one I got from the Festival of Ice. Uh, top hat is from the casino. We can actually get that if we want. I think that might be a good idea to get that out of the way now. I think we're already beating Haley at the fashion game. Like, how do you have so many hats? Oh my god. Oh yeah, we definitely need to have a top hat for that dresser. It's giving days in Stardew Valley. Dirt hoed. Items crafted. Items cooked. Monster slain. Hmm, that is quite a bit of stuff. Oh, the Statue of Endless Fortune. For only a million? We're gonna do it. If only because I have money to blow on everything. we go we got a top hat we still have 68,000 oh my goodness how will we how do we have all this oh, we'll buy the bed as well if only so that we have more stuff Let we go in some paintings now we can feel special Eh, I think with this one, I kind of prefer just using the default farmer. Something that is kind of just stuck. There we go. We're going to put it there for now. I think it basically gives you a gift for everyone's birthday. can be nice. Oh, there's my prehistoric school. Wonderful. Let's find some more stuff to make. To make clothes out of. Golden pumpkin probably goes to something. The gold coconut also becomes something. Oh, hey, hey, welcome, Michael. Oh, that's okay. At this point, money just doesn't mean anything, because I already have everything. I bought the gold clock. I bought all the community upgrades. Still need money is just kind of like other than keeping up with the starfruit seeds and bombs i don't need anything like we'll probably get the um what is it oh we get a witch hat out of that one yeah, that one's pretty nifty i can turn people into newts even if they'll get better that's going to be a plus What's the mahogany seed become? Kind of nice. But yeah, it's just kind of... I do think we're going to get the return scepter just because... At some... You know, at some point. Just because we don't have anything else that we really need. But we're not going to get it today, obviously.
Oh, nice. Didn't expect to see a witch hat. Oh, there's my cloth. Oh, no. I like how we're just randomly making stuff. Oh, we haven't done a crocus yet. Or fire cords. Or honey. Or... We did the crabs. Uh, the energy tonic. We're not doing a prismatic shard. At least not anytime soon. At some point we will. Oh, I did have more than one skeletal hand. I could have high-fived it. Yeah, with true witch power. Sounds like that'd be kind of fun. Oh, strange bun. Eh, I feel like that I don't want to do the uh, ostrich egg just yet. Kind of just trying certain things out. Seeing what works, what doesn't. Yeah, squid ink is one of them. I mean, the funny thing is we've used almost a hundred cloth already. That's what makes it very surprising. I still haven't done everything. Not even close. Oh, we can make a dwarf helmet. Well, that is awfully interesting. We can make a dwarf cosplay. Yeah, slightly larger human-sized version of the helmets worn by dwarves. Oh, but it doesn't, like, cover our face in shadows. goodness. This poor dresser. Poor, poor dresser. Holding all of the world's clothing. Okay, so... That's basically everything. We still have so many extra things. At some point, we might consolidate this. Although, again, I don't think we really need to. Unless we want to decorate outside, which seems like that'd be a pretty good idea. I don't think it's supposed to hold that many clothes, Rhapsody. I think it might be, might be using, like, some real bag of holding Narnia closet wardrobe stuff, TARDIS-level kind of storage. I just, I have some doubts. I remain unconvinced that that's a normal dresser. Oh, goodness. It depends on the type of bag of holding in it. And of course, that depends on the version as well. Because each one... I think there's like four different types in like third edition Pathfinder, which has um, different amounts of storage in it. And of course, increasing the price. So, I mean, it, it just, it really just varies based upon all the uh, factors of that. The SRD usually has that kind of information. But yeah, those are nice to uh, have. You never know when you'll need to store something in there. Like boulders. Nah, Bag of Holden is certainly within... ...budget. Although it is expensive. 
not exactly like super super expensive but definitely you want to put aside money for it and yeah dresser of holding you gotta be able to deploy clothes Especially, you deploy clothes, deploy style, all part of the uh, plan. After all, how can you defeat someone possessed of a thousand fashion styles? I mean, you could do the severed heads. But I feel like should just go for a less bold fashion statement. Yeah, we are ending after this, because admittedly, I'm starting to get a little bit... Uh, <laughs> you can definitely tell I'm running out of steam. And this is the downside. Sometimes when it's this late, I'm okay, but otherwise, you know, sometimes I start getting tired. So this one is more on the uh, tired side. So we'll uh, end here. Let's see what that statue has. Statue, you're not even giving me anything today. One million... Oh, there you go. Beautiful. I got a diamond. Wonderful. Alright, so this is where we're going to stop for today, and next week we'll continue on. We'll probably be able to make it into winter. Maybe we'll go far enough so we can get I think the 200 day mark is after winter four. So once we hit winter five, we'd be at 200 days. And then after that, it's just, well, 24 more days. So I'm pretty sure three streams and we'll be done with this and we'll reach perfection. Uh, but nonetheless, we'll see what additional kind of things to keep ourselves busy with is. But uh, stay safe, stay healthy. See you guys next time. And we'll be doing Hall Night stuff on Saturday. Farewell.